I'm just trying to make sure. Wait, do I have mods on? I probably don't have mods on. Do you have a no achievements? Yeah, but that's because it's a seed. Oh, yeah. Let's see. You know? That's I've, one way to figure it I've out. I've been down those uh, those lonesome roads I've ever known. It's like you've played this game before. A little bit like, you know, every day for the past five years, basically. Why? I don't know. I mean, at this point, Stop. it's almost like I've made a, a <laughs> bet with some kind of, like... Like a demon who's kind of an asshole. I was you know, gonna say, like, you sold just yourself out to like did. Satan, <laughs> just to play Isaac. It was mostly worth it. Like the game tends to be pretty good. There's sometimes when I'm like, eh, not really, but like, it's usually pretty good. It varies. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> um, and then like we just like continued to get drunk at like other bars, and then we came back to my place and we watched. Nice, dude. We watched Men in Black. Checked out your etchings, if you know Th what I mean. Then we watched Wild Wild West. Right. Yeah. And then we watched Independence Day. Oh, that's like a Will Smith triple feature. That's it pretty good. Cool. Is he it was really in good. all of those? Huh? No. Is he's only in the first two. Because I remember him in Wild Wild West. He plays Jim West. Desperado. Desperado. We, it, yes. I mean, we've all seen it. Many times, hopefully. Uh, it was on the syllabus for this weekend, so. Um, <laughs> Men in Black. Yes. He's the black one. Oh! That's, that's what, yeah. Like, the Men in Black. It's, it just meant, like, yeah. the white it's man. It's easy to forget in, in the that black. Will Smith is in Men yeah. in Black. Right, yeah. yeah. It, think, he plays such a minor role. I think that's how I got confused. But in Independence Day, minority role. Bill Pullman, that's Tom Cruise. Bill <laughs> Pullman, R.I.P. Um, Randy Quaid, Jeff Goldblum. Can we talk about that? What do you want? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Bloom? I wasn't done talking about my weekend. You hide. Well, it. I mean, why? Why is his name Jeff Goldblum? Because it's not. Yeah, he should be. Yeah, he's not blooming. Is, Wait, is he, he thinks he's an onion? Yeah, exactly. His name's Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Goldblum and onion. He thinks he's an onion? Or yeah, a Gold flower or something. Really Blum an and onion. onion. You never heard of that? Yeah, I've heard of it. It doesn't sound like it. I just you don't think that me. Jeff Goldblum wants to be an onion. Well, they, why, why does he make his name like that then? You're yeah. saying Jeff Goldblum has layers? Because that sounds like. I mean, you're already calling like. him. The name that I want you to call him. So as far as I'm concerned, we're cool. I'd be like if you were like, "Hey, my name's Josh Smooth." So that that's what you're gonna give me? You're gonna give me Josh Smooth? Well, it's not. It's pronounced <laughs> differently than it says, isn't it? That's what you think. And I'm Nick Ornstein. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, look, my name's spelled Ryan, but it's pronounced Rionda. Like you gotta. You, the English language has rules, man. You can't just circumvent you know what's them. What's hilarious is that I didn't even go live. <laughs> And I've been playing like super hot this entire fucking time. That's you, hilarious. You've been playing like you've that playing means super hot. Well, it means he's been playing like really well at Isaac. Yeah, I've been playing really well at Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> like his run is super hot right now. Yes, yeah, it's, it's slow down when you run. Isaac. Yeah, so you, it's just time for me to slow down. It's time to stop. Usually, yeah, I've thought that a few times, like in my life. Like whenever I come across a traffic light and it's red, I'm like, time to stop. When do you start going again, though? Because that's the part nobody can ever figure it out. You know what? I'm glad you asked, Nick, because this brings yeah. me to my Northern Lion bone of the week. <laughs> I got a bone to pick with you, motherfuckers. I the see you as well. Excuse me. I see you at the traffic lights, shaking that ass, and yeah. I see you. You stop on a red. Good for you. Here's your cookie. Then you see that it turns red. For the other for the other direction, you know, the people going, trying to get to work the way they want to, they have got to go to make money in today's world. And then you start to inch forward on the starting line. You inch forward on the starting line. What are you trying to do? You think you're Mario Andretti? You're going to beat the light? And then inevitably, the other side gets a protected left. You're already like 20% out in the intersection. And you got to like throw it in reverse to make the rest of us look like assholes. That's my bone of the week. Stop trying to beat the traffic light. Just go when it turns green, you moron. Yeah. But I no, never that, trusted that concept that they tell you when you're turning <laughs> left, you should go most of the way into the lane before you turn. No, wait, what? You got to do that, though. Wait, Why? say that one more time. <laughs> when you're turning left, you go most of the way into the turn before you're allowed to well, go. Well, you, you go out into the intersection, you but straight. You go out into the intersection, yeah. which is stupid. <laughs> That's actually stupid. Wait, you, you're telling me... 
that when you go, when you're driving and you want to make a left hand turn at a light, yeah, you have to just like go when it's red. What do you? I, I feel no, like we get got... ready when it turns green to turn, and you pull all the way into the intersection, pretty much. And then as soon as there's a gap in traffic, you actually make the turn. Yeah. He's My saying... reasoning for why that's stupid is because if you have to wait through the whole light, you're now in the middle of everybody. And that's it just, was, yeah, but that's driving yeah. in Vancouver. Like if you're turning yeah. left, you wedge yourself out into the intersection to basically just be like, I'm waiting until everybody else stops running their red, and then I'm going to make the turn. So you can choose to kill me if you want, but I'm going. So if you want to be a murderer, yeah. then by all means, but... I'm fitting That's in on this fucking That's how I was taught, light. and I didn't agree with it when I was taught. Do you do it, I though? Thought I, I thought I knew better, actually, back then. Because hmm. when you I go out... I think I do. When you go out into the intersection, it means that at least one person's getting through on the... on that one. Hmm. Do they not do this in Pennsylvania? Josh is well, giving like, us so nothing like on the this thing, one. I, I, so, like, in Pittsburgh, there's a thing called, like, a Pittsburgh left. So, like... It's it's what you're describing. So like you're at it. Yeah, it's, it's what you know, the innocent. industry did when the manufacturing sector collapsed in the year 2008. Hi <laughs> yo. I'm mad that you just said <laughs> that line of words. But anyways, so so a Pittsburgh left is when you're at an intersection and like the people and you're just waiting for the light to go green, and you know that the light is going to go green for you, but it's also going to go green for the guys that are, like, coming towards you. Right, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So, like, what you do is you just fucking gun it to the left, like, ASAP. <laughs> but, like, everyone in Pittsburgh knows, like, the asshole's going to do it across the way, so they just let it happen. Acceptable, yeah. So, like, we don't necessarily, and I guess you could, like, scoot your your bum in front of your car out into, like, the front in, like, the middle of the, the lane, and we sometimes see that but i mean i think you'll find that everywhere i don't think that's a vancouver thing or i don't think it's no no i just like i'm just saying like traffic is like traffic sucks it's not great here it's not like as bad as it is in like seattle or you know downtown manhattan but it's manhattan uh, yeah well, well just you just wait dude you just fucking wait till we get roberto on the show mm. he starts talking this bullshit about manhattan but yeah ba <laughs> you, like you basically do like that's I, I grew up driving in the country, and, you know, you cross somebody on the country road, you give them a little wave, you know? You say, yeah, you give them, yeah, the middle finger. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's that's the, the big city wave. Like, this guy's <laughs> dr also driving a car. Fuck you. Like, you actually, there's, you can ask Kate, there's multiple times, probably, like, weekly, where I'm like, all right, dude, I'm going to make the, I'm going to change lanes. So it's really up to you if you want to, like, risk one of us dying. I'm gonna, I have to get to where I need to go. I've waited as long as I conceivably can. So it's up to you to either, you know, how, how much does this spot mean to you? Does it mean that we're both gonna go to court in like six months to get this resolved? Or are we just gonna do it right now and like get on with our lives? The ultimate in apathy, you're like, you know what? If we both die, you know, I guess that's just the way the cards fell. Like, I've been waiting for a spot to open up in this fucking lane for 10 minutes and everybody's just, you know, speeding up to cut it off from you. So tell you what, you want this spot, you're gonna have to kill a man. Decide if that's if that's worth it for you. It yeah, always I mean, is. might as well, right? I mean, they have the right. What else way. do you have to live for if you don't have the spot? That's little known. It's the it's called the grandfather clause of 1941. If you have the right of way and you kill someone in your car, get off scot free. Hell, they name a name a street after you. Who's grandfather? Is it your clause? Because that sounds like your basis for annihilating all jaywalkers. Well, see, this is a lot of. Uh, <laughs> Northern lionisms have been taken out of pra uh, out of context. People seem to think I want jaywalkers to die. That's not the case. I just think yes, that if they cause the accident with a self-driving car, they should die. <laughs> Instead of the person in the self-driving car. The jaywalker causes the accident with a self-driving car. Hear, hear me out, Josh. I don't know if you were on the show when we talked about it. You're in a self-driving car. You're in the passenger seat I'm reading. Right no, now. no, no. Yeah, right now. You're in the you're in the back seat of your self-driving car reading the newspaper, probably the stock section because you stand you sound like a big shot, right? And then <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> you're you're coming up to a green light, okay? So you wait, on a green light, does your car go or does your car stop? My car goes. All right. I'm sorry I had to patronize you with that question, but it's, it's I'm setting up a a chain that's going to lead to you eventually agreeing with me is the idea. So you come up to this green light. Your car's got the right of way, right. and then some punk on a skateboard with like headphones that. on, smoking a marijuana cigarette, hops oh, off the no. curb. He gives you the middle LMB. finger. He goes, "What are you going to do, Grandpa? Kill me? Your Grandpa. car? 
<laughs> your car is going too fast. It can't stop in time. And right next to this dude, there's a red video game barrel, which means if you swerve into it, you're going to die. But only you. Should the self-driving car swerve into the barrel, killing you to save the pedestrian, or should the self-driving car hit the pedestrian? Hit the pedestrian. Why do you say that? Because I hate pedestrians. Right, but like you, do you have a reason? Well, like to be honest, like, I stopped listening so you had to oh, through that it. long story. And then I, at the end of the story, you presented me with two options, and I just chose the one. Right, yeah. Which one did you want me to choose? I mean, you chose the one I wanted you to choose, but I was hoping you had good reasons instead of Why just... would I want to actually hit a pedestrian? Because the other option is that you die for his mistake. Oh, I don't want to die. Why would I die? Then? I'm beginning to see why America's why in the state that it's again? in right now. Wait, why would I die? Because there's an exp it's a trolley problem. There's an like oh, oh because oh, yeah. like some some fake explosion thing. Yeah, exactly. That's a see that's Socrates would be like Ryan, you're an idiot. Why Stop would Socrates? No, Socrates would be like, are you an idiot? Yeah, exactly. Does this yeah, seem like a smart question? Yeah, <laughs> and actually, you know, what? Socrates would be like. Hey, uh, I want to answer your question, but first, can you tell me what a car what a, is? What's, what is a car? What's a skateboard? Uh, <laughs> what's a video what, game? What, what, what language? The barrel red? What language are you speaking right now? Um, <laughs> sick, sick Transit well, Gloria. You would ask that question in English. <laughs> well, he's a smart guy. <laughs> But I, I just think, like, that's been taken out of context. People are like, oh, there's a jaywalker, hit him. No. If the only option for the self-driving car is to hit the jaywalker who jaywalked or crash the car into, like, a barricade that's next to the jaywalker, I think he should hit the jaywalker because he made the decision to break the... I, I hesitate to say break the law, but to violate the rules of the road. Breaking the law, breaking the Ray, law. Judas, Judas Priest. Now, nah, that's a song, buddy. What if you had the option to shoot him in the belly before you hit him with the car just to punish him for his crime? I would not do that. Wow. Also, Security. people have started to suggest that uh, I don't think vitamins are real. That was you not changed. that's not my takeaway from like you Wednesday's changed. show. Vitamins aren't real? My takeaway from Wednesday's real, show. Juice isn't real. What's your, Everyone what's should your be hit favorite by a car. vitamin or non-vitamin? Um Captain America Civil War? What do you mean, what's my favorite vitamin or non-vitamin? Well, like you said, vitamins aren't real, so like, if you had to choose one that was oh, your favorite, see, what would I it see, be? Oh, I see, I see, Um, I'm, hmm. dude, vitamin D? Ices? Ices aren't a vitamin. The V... <laughs> the B... <laughs> it's one long fruit-flavored vitamin the com that happens <laughs> to be frozen. The complex of B vitamins, I will accept as well. Um, apart from that... Including B12. My, yeah, I'll take B12. I accept right, vitamin K. Like I eat enough green leafy vegetables to get enough for myself, but I accept that, you know, they're they're helpful. I'm just saying the whole emergency, like, vitamin C business, you know, it's got you guys buying into a pseudo, you know, scientific uh, bit of rabble rousing. Well, pseudo's cough medicine. So pseudo! Like but the difference is, I'm not trying to sell you anything. In fact, it is actually free to subscribe if you have your Twitch Prime token, which, uh... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that only costs 99 bucks a month, or 95 bucks a year. <laughs> wow, me? what a deal. Josh, <laughs> man. Wait, yours is so much cheaper than mine. Things are <laughs> tough in Pittsburgh right now. <laughs> I got a question for you. Yeah, tell me yep. what you think about my dick. Sure. Um, you'd be in Socrates Oh, right that's now? not a question, sorry. <laughs> uh... What do you, how do you, how do you order a haircut? Like, when you go into the barber shop. I go, hey, here's like a picture. Yeah. That I showed like three other people yeah, that yeah. worked here and they gave me good haircuts. But is it a picture like, of you or is it a picture of uh, It started celebrity. as someone else and then it, it turned into my picture. I, I like that. It's like you climbed the ladder from like, this is what I want. And then eventually you got it. And now you can use that as your photo. Correct. That's cool. Is that I have right? a lot of anxiety what do you, about what do that you question. Say? No, really Give funny. me the Moby. A little off the top. <laughs> I am <laughs> not, um, not too much, or I'll actually be killed. So <laughs> I worry that someday the place I get my haircuts at will go out of business, and then the razor that they happen to use will become non-standardized, and they won't be able to know how to cut my Wait, hair. Anymore. This is like Robin Williams from Flubber. He's got his own like proprietary razor. I don't know. I he's just not. Don't. He's not just using the same. You I know, know. I do a number wall three that on the sides and right. scissors on top. Okay. Yeah. And I was given a stern talking to by this one lady that cut my hair. That's like, this is how you order this haircut. Right. Because I tried to say it a different way, and everybody got really pissed. Really they got so pissed. From then on, I only say I want a number three and scissors on top, please. 
and then buzz it in the back uh, so it's natural. Maybe the way that you ordered it before is like their code for selling drugs. Yeah, <laughs> Nick comes in like, I'll have the, uh, the little touch up on the, the side. I and just, it's I like, hope excuse that number me, you gotta go out back. You want yeah. the cocaine. <laughs> they gave you like GPS coordinates to the docks. Yeah. I hope a number three is the same razor everywhere because I don't know what I'm gonna do if it's not. Ah, uh, it's gonna be an issue for sure. It is. I'm counting the days. <laughs> it is, you know, it's great about being bald is that if I ever did have to get a haircut, you know, I think they're, they're probably gonna know as soon as I take my hat off what I'm looking for. It's not gonna be too much confusion. I'm not gonna be like, hey, make me look like G-Dragon. Who's G-Dragon? Who's G-Dragon? He's a K-pop superstar. It's a cool name. Like man. that guy that does the one dance? Yes, like Psy. He's a superstar. <laughs> Excuse me. You heard me. <laughs> the numbers are a measure of length in eighth of inches. Oh, God. Now I have to do math? I mean, what have you done? I'm pretty sure you can do three times one over eight, right? Three times one is three. <laughs> yeah, you, you're almost there, buddy. He got it. Halfway there. <laughs> okay, all right. Well. No. Nope. Yeah, better hope that place doesn't go out of business. <laughs> <laughs> got, they got some skilled, That's it. That's the only one. <laughs> got some skilled mathematicians working there. So you're stenciling out your beard with a different size, depending on your preference. But you're not really stenciling. Like, what if, what if I put the guard and I'm scraping with my beard, right? Yeah. And then I just push harder. Isn't that going to push more hair into the guard and thus uh, cut cut closer to the skin? You push harder? <laughs> like, you, these well, are questions like that have... Push harder just and then... jam it into your chin <laughs> as hard yeah, as you can. These are, these are questions that have plagued me. My, well, I mean, every, like, extra, like... Pico Newton of Force is going to give you, uh, like, another quarter inch off of the hair, right? Or is it no. the harder you push, the less hair is going to get cut because more of it is going to be trapped within the Are you the worried that, like, people are I'm not worried! I'm your... just intellectually curious All about right, so this. so your, your intellectual curiosity is that of, if I use this and, like, push it a little bit harder, is... Someone's gonna notice that, like. No, some not of my not hair that someone's bit. gonna notice. I'm just like, I I want an even cut for me, like intrinsic. Beards are an analog process. Okay, explain. There is no quantification of beard numerology in this in this explanation. I'm starting to think this motherfucker might be blowing smoke up my ass. You're getting a beard that's gonna have some fucking variants, one way or the other. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you got. I'm a just saying. Beard, th I doesn't... I think that your reactions tell me everything I need to know, which is that <laughs> everybody's just as confused as I am about this situation right now. I'm not no, confused. My eyes are fucking open, Ryan. Because everybody's going. Oh, why would you even ask that question? That's stupid. Nobody's answering the question though. Like what's the? All right. You want me to answer a question? What is it? How do the guards work? <laughs> they. They, they adjust, so if you want a shorter cut, then you can do that. Yeah, but like... Or if you want a longer cut, then you can... <laughs> it does, adjusts. Pretty much has That's pretty the whole story Does now. stuff within the guard get cut, or does it get spared? It depends. On what do you mean it, it depends? What kind of guard so it is? Guards, oh. They'll have like two holes. It gets, it gets spared, because like the longer that you adjust it, the farther away from your face it's going to be. It gets spared. I mean, it's true. It's like a hostage situation. Yeah. I'm starting to think you guys <laughs> just as in the dark as I am on this one. No, you're just trying to put words in my words. So fuck you. It's the like... guard is pressed against your face, which keeps the razor from cutting closer to your skin. That's what I said. It gets it spares. That might be what you think you said. I did. That's what I. That's what you said. Excuse me. How many Pico Newtons on average do you apply in force to your face? Um, I believe it's Pico Newtons. It's not Pico Newtons. So. <laughs> Excuse me, <Mace> Chamber. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this guy had a question. Let's make fun of him because he said something scientific. I guess his intellectual curiosity is a sin now. No such thing as stupid questions. The cat. Oh my lord. I thought, I, here I thought we were friends, apparently. We're Me? All, we're enemies. And who? You ever done a stencil? 
Look, I still kind. I dispute the stencil argument. What's the stencil argument? Because when you take a stencil, stencil, you're taking like a pencil and you're writing out a letter. Or you know, <laughs> you take stencil. No, a stencil is like if you take a pencil and take off the P and put ST. Oh shit, he's right. <laughs> you know so how you you get one of those pieces of cardboard and it's like the anarchy symbol, and you want to spray paint that symbol onto a wall. Right. Yeah. You block out all the parts that are getting sprayed on. Right. That aren't the anarchy symbol. Sure. Yep. And then only the negative space remains. Yeah. That's kind of what you're doing with regard to the hair. What do you mean by kind of, though? I mean, it's not literally shooting spray paint on you, if that's what you need for clarification. I still feel like I've been waiting for, like, I mean, I've been shaving for, like. I've been waiting! <laughs> I've been shaving oh, for half my like life now, right? I thought that, you know, by now, we would have, uh. You should have somehow realized what you're not. To well, you do. know, like you know, we go to the eye doctor. You put your face in that thing, and they like blow puffs of air in your eye to measure, oh, you yeah. know, stupid shit that doesn't matter. Um, probably whole professions a facade for <laughs> drug trafficking. Anyway, anyway, the point is, um, why don't they have one of those where you put your face in, and then you just go, I want a short beard, and then it gives you, it shaves off like exactly as much as you requested. So, uh, guard. Oh, not a guard, but you just rest your face in it. And here's the problem. Like, why am I using an electric razor like a fucking caveman? Like, painting my face, you know? Like, going, wee, wee, like a fucking no, face. No, I told you we're not No, I know, but, free. like, it's a face lawnmower is what I'm trying to say. Why don't we have something you just put your face in that cuts it, that just cuts it all off? All at once. Save what does... What if the thing you put your face in came to you? What do you mean by this? Do what you mean if... came or do you mean arrived? What if the portability was paramount and you could take it anywhere? Imagine what? you had to trim your beard in Japan, where this, you don't currently live. Is this guy talking about the Nintendo Switch? What is, is he happening? making a joke? I don't understand. I don't understand the entire conversation. Okay, right see, now. what I'm trying to suggest is why don't you have, like, a little, like, a helmet that you can put on, but for your beard. Because and then, that's fucking lame. How is that lame at all? Yeah, a helmet yeah, for your beard? Listen no, no, yourself, but you put man. it on. You put it on for two seconds, and then it goes. Like, Welcome back. What kind of beard would you like today? And you, go, I want my beard to be a little shorter. And then it just goes zip, and then all of your beard hair gets trimmed at once instead of you having to be like, I want a shorter beard. <laughs> you know, for hours at a time. Hours. I would like to hear that, and then it's all cut part. That yeah, satisfying. just like one, and then you're good. I don't know. It sounds kind of weird. How hmm. would they do it with lasers or something? No, with the like a series of razors yeah. that no, you I'll see. see you happens. want you want a series of razors instead of a series of lasers? You're on crack. Yo, there prestige is real good, dude. Is it, it also it added a lot to my the favorite folder I have on my computer, which is video files of Michael Caine eating at cafes and Christopher Nolan films. I don't understand. Like, if we're gonna talk about stupid film names. Like, Batman is actually in the clear as far as I'm concerned. You know I'm Batman no is a cool film name? Well, I'm just saying, like, all the <laughs> Batman film names, they sort of make sense to me. Whereas, like, fucking the Spider-Man films, Spider-Man, yeah, Spider-Man so Spider 2, Spider-Man... Batman. Listen, listen to me here. Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, The Amazing Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Okay. That's There's five Spider-Man films. At yeah. one point, he becomes amazing, which is a whole different spider. Yeah, but then, like, starting this summer, he's homecoming. And you don't yeah, like that. Is he amazing as well, or is that a separate issue? I don't. I don't think he's amazing anymore. He's just. He's a man. Well, who's what a is spider? He? He's just. He's Spider Man. Man's name is not like the amazing Peter Parker or like you know. What is that? Like Arachneon. Like his name is Spider Man. Like, they pretty yeah. much planned it from the start. It's going to be pretty much self-explanatory. That's really good. It's accessible to the audience. I agree. He's a man who's a spider. What was the other name you just gave? It? Arachnatron? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something to do with Iraq, I was thinking. <laughs> like, boobs? Excuse me? Oh, like, I, I see. <laughs> Middle Eastern boobs? Right, Baghdad. I get you. <laughs> I get you. Don't tell me what to do with Dad. <laughs> I gotta say, though, like, <laughs> the worst... <laughs> naming convention is definitely Fast and the Furious. The oh, Fast and yeah, the Furious. It's, it's mission. Too Fast, Too Furious. Followed by the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Followed by 
The Fast and Furious, followed by Fast Five. It's like, can you just stick to it for two fucking seconds? Like, stand by your principles? What is this? This one is like now Fate, Furious 8. It's the Fate of the Furious or something? Fate of the, yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Well, it's fitting. They could put the number back in, right? Oh, he's right! Most of the whole premise of that movie series was how they titled them. Like, that's what they bring to the filmmaking genre is the titles with numbers. I actually watched Tokyo Drift this weekend. Yeah, they go sideways a lot. It was actually horrible. <laughs> it's so it the, wasn't good. No, no, it's so bad. There's one, like, it was on TV and when I had to do, like, some work. So I was sitting there watching Tokyo Drift. And uh, there's a, a great moment. I, I guess I've just been kicked out of this run. Um, great there, moment. There's a great moment where, like, the protagonist is having this heart-to-heart -heart with this lady. And, you know, they're like, oh, I guess I'll just only know who I am when I drift. And then... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> What? Straight up. And then, to add to this, they're having the conversation while drifting. So, like, in between this, like, really introspective discussion they're having, it's intercut with shots of them on, like, this dark road, just, like, turning literally, like, 270 degrees around a turn, and then, like, looking each other in the eyes and smiling, and it's, it is played extremely straight. Like, it is, they're not like, hey, isn't it weird that we're having this conversation while we're drifting? Like, the way that, I don't know, like a Seth Rogen movie would do it, or like Deadpool or something like that. Instead, they're like, nah, dude, this is fucking sick. <laughs> they're, having, they're having this heart-to-heart -heart while they drift. I wonder if they were ever not in a car in that movie. In Tokyo Drift, there are a few segments where they're on foot and either fighting or shooting at each other. Huh. Did you like it when they shot each other? That was way worse than the driving parts, which were also really, really bad. They all, I also feel like, you know, at the end of the movie, it puts up, like, a little splash screen that goes like, Hey, don't do this. It's not safe. And I, I get that. It's a movie. But at the same time, earlier in it's that film, earlier in the film, though, the dude goes, Hey, why didn't the cops chase me back there? And his friend goes, you, They only got Honda Civics. If you do over 180 kilometers, they won't even try to catch you. And then the other guy goes, I'm beginning to like this country already. I oh. can't help but feel that maybe the disclaimer should have showed up after that very line. I wonder how much trouble this has caused for Japanese police over the years. They're like, what do you, what do you mean you, if we go over 180 kilometers, we're not even going to try to catch you? We're going to throw you in jail. Motherfucker. You only had a Honda Civic, though. Is that true? It's like, yeah, What's your, what's your roles on Honda Civics here? <laughs> well, I saw it in the Tokyo Drift movie. Lil Bow Wow's got some good lines. Like Forget what? what he says. He's like, Japanese food is like, womp. And I can't remember. He's got It's like a pithy <laughs> little line. He goes like, he's like, Japanese food is like, womp, 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 womp. Yeah, either womp, womp, or womp, womp, womp. And I'm like, yeah, dude. Hell so yeah. So he's a dad from Peanuts. <laughs> exactly. Exactly <laughs> correct. Oh, yeah, there it is. Dude, I, you're going to love this. And you're going to, it justifies the anecdote. Japanese food's like the army. Don't ask, don't tell. Japanese food is like the army. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, because he doesn't know what the food is. Exactly. Don't you does it, does it for pink slips, not lives? It, no, they, this was about their lives. Like, a, a bunch of people definitely died in Tokyo Drift. So it drifts really well, though. I don't know. I mean, he did drift. They were going down this hill. And Lil Bow Wow was like, he chose this. This is his mountain. Ain't nobody else ever made it to the bottom alive. And I'm like, damn, his dude. Mountain? The Japanese government should really, like, decommission that road then. Because that <laughs> seems highly dangerous. There's something strangely beautiful about someone so passionate about the very specific activity of driving sideways. There, hey, there's yeah, nothing. I kind of had some admiration. There's actually it. nothing beautiful about it whatsoever. It's the dumbest thing. They really in love going sideways. They the whole movie went sideways from the opening credits, as far as I'm concerned. Well, anyway, that as well. Tokyo Drift is the only Fast and Furious film I've seen, and nah, -uh. it. Well, I watched the Fast and the Furious You're... one when I was like 13. I but remember nothing. You didn't nothing even watch it. like six on an airplane sometime. No, I mean, I, 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 I'd be missing out. Until Dude, the... <laughs> you should go like watch like a couple of them. I mean, they're dumb as shit. Well, that's but, like, the thing. Like, it's they're like pro wrestling, you, right? They're like go, deliberately go dumb Pax things East. that smart people go to like. Pax East, you promise me that you will watch some sort of Fast and Furious. I'm not gonna. Everyone's after... trying to get us to. Everyone's trying to get us like, hey, you want to fly to 
PAX East and then watch a movie? No! I can just, I'll just watch it here. I'm not gonna you're fly gonna, to Boston. Anyways, what are you gonna watch? What are you gonna watch on the flight? Uh, whatever's on the Seatback Entertainment, as always. So fucking Tokyo Drift or another Fast and Furious. If there's Fast and the Furious on the Seatback Entertainment, I'll take a look. But honestly, I'm telling you that there is. There probably won't be. It's been forever there since the last one came out. It's been like a year and a half since the last one came out. There always is. Wow, fuck you, NL. Oh, I guess we just sending out invites here. Everyone's in their invite safe space. Oh, you get an invite. You get an invite. <laughs> Sorry, didn't, didn't mean to hurt your feelings, snowflake. Oh, no. <laughs> Josh, me and you could just get married, and then Ryan couldn't come. <laughs> you couldn't stop me from coming in that situation. <laughs> uh, wait, I don't get it. Yeah, me either. I would be arriving. If Billy you're Mitchell. named Billy and you don't own, like, a refrigerator repair business, like, you're really missing out, aren't you? Yeah, like, Billy... She was like, what about a Billy's Cold R's? Company. Billy's Cold R's. What about Billy Bush? I feel like that's a very... It's a Bush thing to do, is to be like, you know, my name is William, but you can call me Billy. <laughs> Chili Billy. I'd have a beer with him. Oh, <laughs> Chili Billy's really good. Chili Billy is way better. What about Billy Crystal? What about Billy Crystal? I mean, well, you, what you was brought the him crystal up. Crystal for Crystal Meth. <laughs> oh yeah, more like Billy Crystal Meth. I mean, if you heard some of the things that I've heard, I he, he does is meth. very passionately in favor of mandatory minimum sentences for repeat drug offenders. Mandatory minimum sentence structure. <laughs> Every. <laughs> what about Billy Bob Thornton? What about Billy Bob Thornton? Everyone's always like, "What about Billy?" <laughs> okay, sure, you got us, I guess. I didn't see her fuck Billy Bob Thornton either. I just assumed they did because you know. Well, why would you assume? You know. Well, because they were wearing vials of each other's blood around their necks. It's like that's way more. That's way more intimate than intercourse. That's like. Well, yeah, because they were so intimate with that, then like they didn't need anything else. They didn't need anything else. Yeah, they got all the blood out of their system and they were dead. Now they're vampires. This goes back to Billy Corgan. Wait, what if the world is just? You know, words for Billy Bob Thornton and Angelina Jolie. The world Jolie. is Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton's relationship. Yes, that's why it's a. That's why it's a vampire. <laughs> Which is why we, we can't we stop going in circles in yes. this fucking what? conversation. We we got to the end. It's rare that I find myself thinking <laughs> that we've uh, we've gone off the rails. No, we've won. <laughs> we've did it. I, I just wish you would discuss. On the rails. I wish you would discuss. <laughs> <laughs> we brain flooded him. I too. wish you would discuss the issue at hand. Is all I'm trying to say, and failing at. But it's this damn mandatory minimum sentence structures making it mandatory so hard to talk. Minimum sentences. <laughs> we ate pho at this place the other day. Can he use it in? A Can sentence? you prove it? <clears throat> <laughs> Can you prove it? Also, <laughs> right next to the pho place, little little establishment by the name of Budzilla Lounge. Budzilla. Is there like a joint Mothra? Joint Budzilla versus joint Mothra. I, okay, yeah. I knew I knew there was some gold to mine here somewhere. There we go. Well, I'm, I'm imagining the body of a moth, but it's made of a joint. That's why I can't wait for marijuana legalization. But like right now, there's like a million dispensaries in Vancouver, and they're all called like. You know, the can of buddies. And you're like, okay, I get it. That's cute. They're all wordplay, though, and I don't respect that. I really, I want people to have to buy weed from a place that's uncool. I want them to have to go to a place that's called, like, you know, Government Dispensary Bureau number 94. I think that's going to... Because I want to see any undeserved joy sucked out of the world, if possible. Like, Oh, right, okay. I d if I ever have to have a conversation where somebody goes, check it out, I'm smoking some Genghis Bon, then, <laughs> <laughs> then, like, I lose. In my own twisted world, I lose. I want them to have to be like, yeah, you know, I got some, uh, you know, Epsilon 40 from the Government Weed Bureau. And then I'm like, okay, now we're on the same level, you know? What's your portfolio what you look like? the relationship between your marijuana and puns? <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't respect products that are named after puns. But why do potheads use puns so prodigiously? I, I have to say, in the interest of, uh, you know, being equal opportunity here, there are a lot of breweries that do it too. 
Yep. And, well, okay. So why the, does anyone use? The I, don't, I I think it's really just because you need some way to like diversify your product. And if you had the choice, you're like, oh, this is called the uh, the Green Monster. And this one is called like Elijah Woods eyelids. Which one are you gonna get? I'm gonna, uh, Elijah Woods eyelids. I would be getting the. Li- I gotta know what Elijah Woods <laughs> eyelids are like. You no know? question. False advertising, though. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> if it contains at least one percent of Elijah Woods eyelids, then the FDA can't touch them. Yeah. Okay, it's one percent, and beyond that, it's just diluted. You know what's a much state. better name for a, a marijuana cigarette than Elijah Woods eyelids? Eyelids. Islands? Elijah yeah. Woods Islands. Hear me obviously. out here, Doug. Okay, and you know what's even better than Don't Elijah me. Woods Islands? What? Frodo Schwaggins. <laughs> it does say Schwag in it. Now I see why they do it. One. It's so yeah. easy. It's very, you feel smug now too, right? I, like I'm, a, like I'm probably the next Shakespeare, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I think the same thing when I go to the grocery store and a food is called like, you know, a milk brand is like, holy cow. I'm like, I'm not buying that. I'm getting Avalon. Who's Avalon? Avalon's a, I guess it's a local dairy or something, but like... It's like a streamer, right? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I really needed you to carry the, the, the remainder of that joke, because I had no idea what you were talking about there. What if you just named your weed Dildo? Do you think people would buy it more or less? More? What yeah. if you named your dog Dildo? Like, would people pet it more or less? <laughs> more. Yeah. Obviously. I mean, we've got... What if... I asked you what the last name of the actor who uh, gets a brand new car at the start of the 1995 or 1999 film Pay It Forward was. You would say? Pierce Brosnan. It's Moore. It's Jay Moore. That's what I said. I mean, you said Pierce Brosnan. What if you named your dog was Pierce Brosnan? Moore or Brosnan. <laughs> Pierce Brosnan. The, yeah. I think the, the fundamental problem with human beings is that if somebody tells us like only is that we're we're not made out of like ninety percent weed? That's that we're not token right now, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> Fuck you, Justin Trudeau. He's very handsome though. Now this all being, I think the fundamental problem with human beings is that if if someone tells us only three percent of people can solve this, and we solved it, we're inclined to believe them without any other further evidence. If you, I'm thinking for like fifty percent of the population, if you went like. Hey, what's seven times four? Only three percent of the population could solve this. They would be like, twenty-eight. Where's my certificate? Can I just be Stone Nick sometimes as a character? It depends what state you live in. You have to come to work stoned. I gotta go to Massachusetts. Right? Yeah. Why? What's in Massachusetts? More like massive, huge hits (laughs) off of this functional glassware. If you know what I mean. Did you just make that up? I mean. People are telling me I stole the Frodo Schwaggins joke, which, Massive, huge like, uh, <laughs> if so, I apologize. I can't believe you stole that. You I stole mean, that I, from the internet? I really hope I didn't steal it from, like, Louis C.K., because he's got a history. NL is definitely on the pot. Dude, you can't be on something if you're never off it. <laughs> <laughs> Like my dick! <laughs> or this, uh, marijuana cigarette. You would, <laughs> you would never. Dude, but have you ever tried it? What's it like? What's uh, what's next on the docket? Well, I was gonna make a bold statement first. Okay. Bold, as in you smoked it? Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Here's, dude, <laughs> if you've ever smoked weed, hear me out here. You should be president. Just for yeah. like a day. A, well, <laughs> maybe like a year or two. Till we work everybody through. Just to see what the world would be like. Why? Why not? That's, I think that's what, shit you that's ever heard you say. Our problem, dude, is in society, we spend way too much time asking why. Not enough time asking why not. You know what? Starting tomorrow, Josh, Lady Gray's president. Lady Grey, you hear that? No, because I'm wearing headphones. She didn't hear you. Your cat is wearing headphones? No, I'm wearing headphones. <laughs> How would she not hear you then? I'm wearing headphones. Oh, right. I, right, yeah, okay, I understand. Yeah, that. but how would and she not hear you? Dude, I am way too no. intoxicated to be having this Lady conversation right now. <laughs> it's so cute, like, when she tries to, like, bite me because she doesn't have any teeth. So it just, like, she gums me. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody ever gums me like she gums. Me. 
180. Ooh, she gums. She gums me gums. You know, something like She'll that. She'll be gumming around. Yeah, that's... Dude! Now we're talking. Oh, Lord. Are you here? <laughs> I think I'm being, I'm being teleported back to the Middle Ages here. What's happening? There's a re Kate got a recorder, I think, and she's playing it in the background here. Oh, are you like in the village square now? I feel like I might have been teleported he is back the to the village square. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't Everything's figure gonna out change. how to get out of this floor, dude. Oh my lord! I gotta get my cat. Kate, are you are you taking me back to 18th century Nottingham? All right, this might be the best or the worst content that's ever made it to Twitch. I'm kind of excited to see how this works out. Ask her if she knows Bree Dee. Here she goes. This is the worst stream we've ever done. <laughs> what is this show coming to? <laughs> oh. What is happening? I have no idea. Oh, okay, it's under the sea. I, I hear it. <laughs> wow, Kate, that's pretty what we, good. What, what just happened? Four, four years of uh, music education at Canada's most prestigious university doesn't get you too far on the recorder, apparently. <laughs> oh no, we're taking time away from Ultimate Chicken Horse, a game we played another 10,000 hours of. Is that what we're playing next? Yeah, that's, that's up next. Have I played that before? Probably like. 20 times, but you still don't know how to get into a lobby, so... Oh, yeah. You might oh, want to boot it up right to... now if you want. Yeah, I was just gonna say, <laughs> they still have that, like, that lame rule? <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. Which one's that? Yeah. The lame rule? Pretty much how I expected that conversation to go. What are you gonna play, Kate? Alright, I see what it is. You got it yet? It's Kate's Weird Tunes. Close your chats. Oh, God. <laughs> the squeals are too loud. <laughs> oh, Lordy. That was a good one. <laughs> what what song was she playing? That's uh, I Just Can't Wait to Be King from the Lion King soundtrack. Uh, <laughs> this is the worst NLS ever, and I love it. What, you tell, this is the greatest NLSS ever. I performed. I performed in front of thousands oh, of people. <laughs> yeah, well, look, you're doing the same thing right now. <laughs> no, I'm saying right now. I performed. Oh, there you go. Put it, put it on your resume. An audience of 7,000 people. I, I heard my name being called. Rabbit. Hey. How's it going? Did you bring the cello? I did, did, did I bring the cholo? <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that cello, said? I said cello. Oh, no. I, I brought neither of those things. Speaking of which, Robert. Yeah. What's up? Okay. <laughs> is Billy Bob Thornton the worst yeah. person that has fucked Angelina Jolie? So are we not considering the people that we don't know about? Yeah. I mean, you got to have some proof. Yeah. All right. Well, then, I don't know. He's, right. he's pretty handsome, actually, despite his silly name. I still think we haven't seen full penetration, so we don't know 100% it happened. I mean, they were banging for sure. Thank Why you. Do you, say for sure? you don't put somebody else's blood around your neck until mm. they put their legs around your neck. What'd she ever do with his vial of blood since they, you know, drank it? She just drank it? What is that's she a vampire? You, that's how you dispose. No, of it. okay. Look. <laughs> no, the world is the vampire. Right, exactly. Oh, <laughs> like Idrisil, <laughs> the world tree. To be honest, I hope she smorked it. <laughs> he just wanted Dip him. the meat. Little joint and blood. <laughs> Hell yeah, little blood joint. I actually came in with two uh, potential topics of discussion. Sure, yeah. Okay. You can't uh, wait to hear them. Can't say them because I have to ask you what you think about the Smashing Pumpkin lyrics before we get to that. Okay, go for it. All right. So, 
Even though I know, I suppose I'll show. Even though all I know, someday we all go. gotta go. But as long as we leave in thieving, we'll be leaving with some kind of dough. So until that day we expire and turn to vapor, me and my capa will be somewhere stacking plenty papers. Keeping it real, packing steel, and getting high. Cause life's a bitch, and then you die. Right. Did you write that yourself? That's from the song Life's a Bitch and Then You Die by Nas, featuring AZ. That was really good. Uh, that you came up with that. with that, like, right off the top of your head, honestly. Well, yeah, no, that was a freestyle yeah. rap. I can't that believe you incredible. guys actually thought that was rap. That was a freestyle <laughs> rap, just like, um, Today is a Good Day by me, and not by Yeah, Oscar. right, yeah, you did that, yeah. I remember that. Uh, so, yeah, the entirety of my point was in the last three words of that, which I didn't say. <laughs> Even right, though I know, I suppose more like I'll the last three herbs. Do you guys want to like just a... not run ads and instead play Ultimate Chicken Horse? I assume yeah. that's what we're doing. All it's right. like three pennies anyway. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> this is a good point, honestly. Well, how did you serve it? If you had just mashed potatoes, you're no longer needing a flat surface to put like a fillet of meat on. So, yeah. did you put it in a bowl or did you put it on a plate? It was on a plate. You could boil and mash and put them in a stew. Yeah, boil and mash. Why and mash and not a bowl? Stew. Well, I didn't have any bowls, so that's why I this didn't guy have a bowl. doesn't have any bowls. I mean, I, I like I have bowls, but I have to. I love bowl. bowls. <laughs> what do you smoke out of them? <laughs> this guy's asking all the right questions. <laughs> potatoes are just amazing. I think Hollow Knight is better per capita than potatoes, that's but ridiculous. I agree they're both I don't think that's true at all. You know how many millions then, of years okay. of evolution went into making the potato the perfect food? <laughs> if I had to pick one to marry, I'd pick a human. Mm. What if it was a really hot potato with a tight vagina? Oh, I've seen a hot potato <laughs> before. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and I've fucked a potato before, so really we have all the... Wait, uh, but really though. You're a smoked one? <laughs> you fucked a potato? Have you ever no, smoked... Rice aroni out of a potato bong? All the time. That's like my Saturdays. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, um, when people microwave and fuck a watermelon, like, what's yeah. the deal with that? Why? Well, the deal when I did it, it was two for one watermelons. They're horny? <laughs> I mean, but it doesn't, does it feel like a vagina? I don't know. Not. Five months in a row, I bet you are the mashed potato with your hands, you, didn't you, Robert? I did not What did you just that. say? <laughs> It was it was uh, it was JJW's subscription message. Oh, Jeb Thornton, him? you guys are good. Yeah, we, yeah, we got Jeff Dunham a lot of time dinosaur. in this game. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you're basically on Robert's level right now, so everybody's got to yeah. start somewhere. It didn't That's it didn't translate bad. into skills for me. <laughs> I just stopped caring about winning, and then uh, you just do that, Josh. Stop caring about winning, and you'll be fine. I've never cared. <laughs> good. Like in general, or about winning. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. I think he made yeah, his point enough. very clear there. Yeah, that's, you know, I hadn't considered that, but now that you say it, <laughs> would you guys want to be a dinosaur if you could? That's like a pretty like intense question, kind of right? Like, like, yeah. how big well, that was going to be my sub question. What kind of dinosaur would you be if your answer was yes? I think I would like, want to be like a brontosaurus. Is it for life? Yeah. <laughs> So like, I can't be a human again. Wait, we're missing a person. Are well, we I mean, like, person, I think it's just I can't vote or exist. Ah, okay, all so. Right, all right. Yeah. Tell me about this dinosaur scenario. All right, you got to be a dinosaur forever, but it's a dinosaur in the modern era, like right now. You could become a dinosaur oh, and you geez. live as a dinosaur forever. Pterodactyl. They'd immediately shoot <laughs> me and use me for parts and science. No, they would actually just exploit you and like yeah, have you work in a circus or something. They probably just extract your semen all the time, which would, sounds would pretty fun. Well, yeah. I don't know. You could just be like an alligator, and yeah, why can't I be an alligator extracting? You're gonna semen? choose to be an alligator instead well, yeah, of like a, be, a fucking T-Rex. There's less than like doing like experiments and shit on you, right? Well, yeah, there's way more chance you get turned into jerky by fucking Jeb Bush's third cousin <laughs> or something. Yeah, or a handbag or something. Yeah, exactly. Or a handjob. Fucking both. Yeah. Josh, put it on the barrel. That means she's Don't got put it, really put it on the big black hole. upper arm muscles. Yes. All right. It didn't push it. What it's pushing fuck? it. Look, it, it just pushed me into it. It's a swerving Murph. I don't <laughs> see it, though. On my screen, it's just... It didn't push for me It's either. pushing for me. Is it it really? also didn't push for me. Why is it pushing Raya? Can't extract my semen if I'm under the water and make me a Megalodon? Alright, that's reasonable, but they could yeah. probably still extract your semen. 
I mean, they gotta get whale cum somehow, right? Yeah. I think they do, yeah. Right? They gotta get whale cum. How else are they gonna know about the cum of the whales? Maybe they have one of those giant things like the horse fox now to the, get the cum out of it. Now the thing is moving. Why yeah, no, do cool. you think uh, they're called sperm whales? <laughs> <laughs> I would. I think I'd want to be a brontosaurus, dude. Yeah. I stand. Big long neck. You're use, like a giraffe, but a dinosaur. Use the deal. You know, you're a T-Rex. You're in the fucking food chain. You're battling it out, right? I've seen King Kong. Big old monkey comes over, rips your jaw off. Yeah. I don't want any part of that. Um, yeah, but. You're basically well, a gazelle. What if there's? Ball. What if somebody else chooses Tyrannosaurus? They're gonna eat you anyway, cause you're you're big and weak, though. I thought like Brontosaurus is had like a uh, they had like a truce with the T-Rex. The Brontosaurus is like, hey, don't fuck with that guy, because if you fuck with him, they're gonna put their long you necks. Fuck with me. Ex That's you know, it's only like when you can see the truce rock under uh, the water. I thought it was like a John Wick situation where they they sort of coexist, and you don't fuck with the Brontosaurus, or he'll like kill your whole family in the nightclub you own. Everyone's making fun of me for saying Four Honors Game of the Year, and then they're naming games that aren't even out yet. Who's the shill? I got. I'm point. no shill. You're the shill. Canada does like a lot of uh, Far Cry things, but it's very yeah. far from Far Cry. <laughs> Can you make that sentence a little bit more elegant, please? Uh, suck my dick. Bro Would you be a robot dinosaur, or a regular dinosaur. I'd, I'd rather be a. Robot. I'd rather be a robot dinosaur, 100. Yeah. percent Dude, but that's like asking would you rather be Mecha Godzilla or Godzilla. Well, actually, I'd probably rather be Godzilla now that I think. I'd rather be Robzilla. I'd rather yeah. be Grobzilla. In that? <laughs> Go to the <laughs> Budzilla Lounge. I would Rob to be like 60 foot. That, and me too. Terrorize the city. Fuck yeah, I would absolutely. Actually, you know what? Not even a city, like a small town. Yeah. Fuck it. If you guys had, okay, like if you guys became Superman tomorrow. Okay. I am Superman. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow. So, if Josh, Tomorrow. if you have a Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If you have a Tuesday. Sure. Yeah, um, I mean, get on with it. Wait. Are you gonna be a superhero or a supervillain? Like, would you go around saving people, or oh, would you be you like, all right, I just, I just want you guys to know oh, that I'm king of the earth now, and there's really nothing you can do about it. Do you it. pick up the blue orbs or the red orbs, Josh? I mean, <laughs> I'd be like chaotic neutral. I don't think I'd do it. I think I'd just live my life. Or no, like. I wouldn't be lawful. I mean, I'd just be like, I would just like live my life. Be like, well, maybe I'll like rob this bank for like a day, and then I'll go live my life. Yeah, well, that's 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 really that's, the that's point super villain. That makes yeah, you yeah, but that's like only like one time super villain. Like that's just dabbling. Yeah, but I mean, it's still the. You, know, that, you think like that's a gateway drug to being a real villain? Well, I Probably, think it, I think yeah, you were a real villain if you rob a bank when you have infinite power. Yeah, right. yeah. just makes well, you kind yeah, of yeah. Good. I would be a villain, I guess. But like, uh, then here's the thing: if you ever save anybody's cat from a tree, yeah, all of a sudden you got to save everybody's cat, right? Otherwise, they're gonna uh, resent yeah. you. What I want is that, like, if I work, like, I'm an, you know, uh, I'm freaking uh, an insurance adjuster or something like that, right? And somebody comes and like, hey, Superman, like, I know this is like over the line, but like, I've been having some problems this week. Is it possible that you could like use your heat vision to remove this mole off of my neck? Yeah, I'd be like, you yeah. know what, Ron? I actually can't, okay? And you cross the line just by asking, and I don't know if we can ever return. What if I was like, hey, Superman, I've been having some problems in the bedroom, and I need you to fuck my wife, like, like the best <laughs> fucking ever, so she respects me again. Well, that's the yes. question, right? So Is, can Superman again. come fuck. inside of Lois? What do you mean? I don't know. Mean? Yeah, because, like, his mean, cum might be, like, be? super-powered or something. Yeah, super might just, cum. like, be a oh, shotgun he out her. of her spine. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly, yeah. Why does it, like, when he breathes, it's not, like... His speech knocks people over unless he wants it to. Well, yeah. It's not like Clark Kent says respect. hello and like blows down a fucking city block, right? Okay, well then secondary secondary question because I'm sure <laughs> a secondary <laughs> question. <laughs> fucking kidding me. <laughs> secondary question. Um, see, he probably had to learn how to do that, so he didn't like you know freeze his mother when he breathed. And cook. Maybe I don't know. I mean, probably he has the train to do that, right? So, like, who was the first poor lady that got murdered by Superman's cum before, you know, and he had to cover up the the body? No, he just disintegrated the body. He didn't yeah, have to cover it up. What did he cover um, the body with? Yeah. <laughs> he could have also frozen the body and shattered it. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that would have been a good. He idea. could have just picked her up and then thrown her into space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot. He has the Dude, reach of space. When we get well. like micro rocket ships that Thank everybody you. can three D print, it's gonna be way easier to get away with murder, right? Oh yeah. It's gonna be like, oh, we found a body. What? Ooh. 
We found a body in space. Uh, carbon dating says that they were murdered like 11,000 years ago and then jettisoned to Alpha Centauri. Like, well, the guy who's uh, definitely like, it's her boyfriend that murdered her and he's been dead for a hundred centuries. So, posthumously, that guy's, that guy's kind of a dick, but <laughs> can't really do too much about it now. I was uh, watching an Elon Musk video where he was talking about shooting garbage to the sun to burn it. It's we should, dope, dude. I see yeah. no negatives. Like, I, I don't know why we haven't done that. I think well, the problem right now money. is that, yeah, it costs like $100,000 a kilogram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mainly. Yeah. Hashtag worth it. What well, if what we if put them in volcanoes, it? though? Why wouldn't that work? There's got to be a reason that's not smart, right? Yeah, right. It, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, they would have done it by now. I don't know any reason that that wouldn't work in my mind. Why don't we just? So well, okay, wait, wait, wait. Well, what if you? Matter, <laughs> it's not like matter goes away. Right. So yeah, like yeah. eventually Changes you're just gonna forms. fill it up. Yeah. yeah if so you, you oh, dude, and volcano. you would not want a volcano full of garbage <laughs> erupting. <laughs> volcano uh, erupting like baby diapers and syringes, <laughs> like that are also on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that All would right. be good. Rob, you'd be in paradise. The ultimate <laughs> trash panda paradise. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Apparently, yep. it's the uh, the toxic fumes that would poison uh, us all. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that also makes sense. Well, I'm glad we, we figured that out. What if sense. you just put a cap on the volcano after you put the <laughs> trash in there? <laughs> You know, yeah. cover it up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> An impermeable membrane over. that the gas can't get out of, and then you just, you know, push it off to the side when you got more garbage to go in. What yeah. if you, yeah. you, you, you yeah. dig yeah. a hole to the earth's Take, core, make a rubber you, cap you over put, it, you put all the trash in it, and then you fill it back up. You make a rubber cap over it, you let the gas fill it like a balloon, and you let the balloon rise off it into space. There you go, yeah. Mm, yeah. Just like a balloon. Yeah. Balloon. CG. You got it. Yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. It fills up a balloon full of gas, and then you just yeah. let it float out you of the atmosphere. Off the bottom, and it just goes away. In theory, couldn't we? If we made a space elevator, yeah. and we had, if we applied enough thrust, you probably wouldn't need a lot of thrust to make a line of garbage constantly moving towards the sun, right? Like Superman fucking your wife, a lot of thrust. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It really does mean that. We fucked ourselves for first contact, though. Because, like, <laughs> if aliens come by now, they'll probably be like, Hey, you know, this Earth is relatively unmolested. I mean, as far as, like, spacefaring species go, it could oh, be worse, no. right? And then if they come and we're surrounded by garbage that is just continuously no. being shot into orbit, no. then we'd be like, Eh, maybe we'll just leave that planet behind. I, I so when you burn coal, the coal doesn't go away? Oh, man, I fucking love coal. No, the coal is, it becomes gaseous. Yeah, yeah. gaseous yeah, coal. And it goes away as Cash gas. Is <laughs> the best <laughs> the boxer of all leg. time. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> gaseous. Yeah, gaseous coal. Well, it's not gaseous you burn, coal. You I burn guess, the but... coal, and then there's no more coal because it's gas. Oh, Reese's guy. cup cereal is still good too. No. Yeah, I do like Reese's. You have to, like, preferably on like your 26th birthday or something. But you know, yeah, all allow. I know, I'll allow it. Is what I'm saying here. You gotta swear off those those child cereals, man. Why? Yeah. Honey bunches of oats. You, you, they, they passed you by, time. dude. I also eat Raisin Bran Crunch, which is Ooh. the opposite of a child cereal. That's not a child. So that's gross. not the opposite. The Crunch. Like Raisin Bran Crunch. The Crunch no. adds a little more joy than should be in an adult cereal. But really, Raisin Bran <laughs> Crunch is too childish. <laughs> yeah, it's got crunch. I feel bad for your. As head soon as there's an onomatopoeia <laughs> in a cereal name, it's not for adults. If a cereal's called, like, mm, chocolatey yum-yums, you can't eat it if you're over the age of 25. Wait, well, yum-yum is not on my, is it? Yeah, because like, when you eat something that's good, you go yum-yum-yum-yum-yum. Yeah, but like, you I say that think... because, like, that's... Right? It's yeah, involuntary. No, think... What came Neither first, the yum, yum or, yum, like, yum, the crunch? Right. I don't know if that's an onomatopoeia or not. That's an onomatopoeia. Crunch is sure? also... I mean, I guess it is... Uh, yeah, when you bite is... into something that's crunchy, it goes crunch. <laughs> According to NL, Nesquik is an adult cereal? I don't think so. It's chocolate-based. Yep. So any chocolate-based cereal is bad? How much chocolate are you eating? Any chocolate-based cereal is bad? <laughs> if you wanted me to keep going, give Josh, me Josh, what cereal thing. do you eat? Honey Bunches of Oats. Hell the yeah. generic kind. Except from the store. What is it? What's it called? I don't know. It's like, like, it's called cluster. like, like oat, oat Cluster. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love it, dude. It's like, um... There's, uh, Rice Krispies, and then the... 
triple A brand, or the, I guess the double A brand, is called crispy rice. Oh god damn it! Does not touch my cup off that? It's like no matter which orientation of the words, it still describes it completely perfectly. Why should adults never feel joy? I just think like you. Sh I still think you just shouldn't make it that easy on yourself. All right. Wait, what kind of what, what cereal exactly are you eating? How Cardboard hard and glass cereal O's? I, like, I haven't been eating uh, cereal lately. I've been having uh, toast with peanut butter. Thank you. That sounds like a lot of joy to me. Wait, you get that peanut butter? That's filled with sugar. No, it's natural peanut butter. It's still, they still it's all peanut there's exactly no shit, it's just peanuts stuff. in it. Well, there's not just peanuts. It's in just it. you look at the back ingredients, peanuts. No, there's gotta be like some. They put oil or something. It's just ingredients, right? peanuts. Peanuts in your mouth. Adults should not have any fun. Proceeds. <laughs> to make YouTube Let's Play channel. <laughs> Who says I'm having a good time? <laughs> oh. Yeah, have you met us? <laughs> no, I haven't. Yeah, I hang out you? with these fuckers. You don't want to. No. Oh, peanuts have natural oil. Okay. Ooh, well, that, that food has ah. carbon in it. I'm fucked. Well, natural carbon, though? Yeah, is it perfluorocarbons? I absolutely hope not. Why do you shit on cereal? You love peanut butter? I don't shit on Ew, cereal. You're shitting on your cereal now? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gross. Where do you think the peanut butter comes from? <laughs> I just yeah! put butter on potato chips and then pour milk on them. Am I an adult yet? <laughs> this guy, he's acting like it's a joke, but he's dipping his Pringles in cottage cheese. Wait, yeah, are you really? Yeah. Ew. Oh, God. Do you also eat prunes for dinner, Grandma? What? <laughs> this cottage cheese is an old person food. Oh. Is it? Yeah. yeah it's it an old person is. food Why? or like a, you know, I'm trying to get abs food. Yeah. Why is it an old person food? Have you ever seen it? <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> it looks like old people's diarrhea. Cunt! <laughs> oh, God. You survived up there in the hell? Why oh, would it you blew up something? It's probably yeah, some yeah. of the best play I've ever done in my entire life. Same reason their hair turns white, their poop turns white too. You never look at old people poop? Wait, you will never like look action? at old people poop? Don't lie to me, does it? Well, <laughs> is their stomach white? a furnace and it turns it into ash? Yeah, absolutely. They That's just cool shit ash hell. out of their butt. I know. Oh, well, pick wisely. I pick Wesley. Snipes. Snipes? Is he still in jail? No, he got out. He was in the Expendables 3? 6. <laughs> 9? Why isn't he doing more stuff now? Maybe he doesn't he want to deal with jail. your bullshit, honestly. You try ever get, try yeah, to get hired as an ex-con? I try to get high as an ex-con. Hell yeah, Fumari dude. You should play ex -con. Spaghetti and cream cheese is legit. Wait, why are we all on iceberg? Spaghetti and cream, cream cheese? cheese? In cream cheese or <laughs> with on, cream? Or and, and. That sounds tasty. I would eat that. Spaghetti I mean, and cream no, cheese. I don't like that. I would totally eat that. I mean... But I would also eat, like, all the disgusting things that you guys say that is disgusting. So... <laughs> I, guess I mean, mean, if what you, you make, mean? wait, what if is you, this? What are you doing? I here? don't know. I'm just gonna die. If you make it into like a sauce, I can sauce. see it. Bro, sauce. I would. Sauce. I <laughs> we, we had some good thinking going there. Oops, white. Like, but you capitalized the W in white, so like, <laughs> what does that mean? White. <laughs> it's a last white. name. What? You guys like smoked salmon cream cheese? Yes. It's amazing. It's acceptable. Acceptable. Adults should not have any fun, Rob. <laughs> Cream cheese is a very adult food. Yeah, probably. I think it's more of a fun food because you have it on ants on a log. No. I don't... Wait, ants on a log? It's cheese with yeah, and or either... peanut butter. You it's can have butter, peanut not... butter or cream cheese. No, you if it's cream, cream cheese, cheese... You can. <laughs> and no, because that's white. It's like ants on a white. I guess it could be a birch. <laughs> Yeah, ants on. It's a birch log. <laughs> yeah. Choked. Ants on a white. I've never had ants on a log. Yeah, it's like was it? not that was good, a good one. at all. <laughs> well, it's it's like peanut butter, raisins, and celery, right? Yeah. Or that cream cheese. Gross. Yeah, no, I don't. I actually don't understand the idea of it as a food. That's like one of those foods from like the '60s that we never got rid of. <laughs> yeah, tomato aspic as well. Tomato aspic. <laughs> I get some tomato aspics. Well, it's Ant one of those things that's like. I'm I'm noticing now. Everybody's like, "That's a food for kids. That's a food for kids." How quickly the discourse changes. 
Uh, apparently, there are <laughs> children's foods, but I do agree that um, it's is a food exclusively for kids. That you're like, hey, I want you to eat celery, but it, celery is not fun. So and Pringles right and there. cream cheese, pr uh, Pringles and uh, cottage cheese. You mind flooded me somehow. Pringles and uh, cheese cream. It's specifically an adult or old person food. Right, fall down now. No, I'm gonna beat it. the level. No, I, I earned it, dude. Right, get the coin. Go get the get coin. The coin. Get the coin. I don't think that coin's the gettable. Don't do it. That Ryan. is adult is I semen. Don't, don't die at shame. <laughs> you fucking no. No, I was just kidding. I was, oh no. I wasn't kidding. You get that coin. You man the fuck up and you get that coin, boy. Oh fuck. Oh, it's totally gettable, actually, though. It's totally faux gettable. Oh. Oh, that thing pushed me. <laughs> Celery yeah, is trash. Trash. I Celery totally is fine. It's trash. Celery it's like is... the worst vegetable that exists. It's actually. No, I love ridiculous. celery. It's one of the best raw vegetables for sure. I yeah. agree. I you, like celery. It's one of the I best, best raw celery. vegetables for sure. <laughs> I, I always try to put it in macaroni salad. Fuck that shit. I don't want it. I do. You should put it in stews. How do you like celery? Yes. In stews? Yeah, you need all it. Of it's my celery. It's part of a mirepoix. If you're not having your stews with a mirepoix, I'm not eating any of your stews. God, what the hell is You the couldn't handle gun? my stews. Oh, god damn it. All Why vegetables are that? just water. Oh, doctors hate him. This guy figured out the secret. <laughs> it tastes like dirty. Well, that's if you don't clean it. You do have to clean it, you know, because it, it gets all dirt in the stuff. I, I, I don't like cleaning vegetables. You know what? I feel, Me neither, I dude. Think, I, I figure, like, yeah. they're, they're there. Someone's had to have cleaned them along the way. <laughs> 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 Charlie, come on, yeah. man. Yeah, why, don't, why aren't they cleaning my potatoes for me? Why do I always have to clean off the potatoes? You know what I'm saying? I never clean potatoes. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, I don't. I, I just chop those up and throw them in the skillet. It's gonna, it's gonna cook out the things any, that makes it bad, anyways. Right? Well, I mean, it's well, it's more about like not eating a big clump of dirt. <laughs> yeah, mainly. Yeah. Oh, well, wouldn't I see the dirt? Well, I don't know. You're not looking at it that hard. And we talked yes. about. Them. I'm you just said you just cut it up and throw it in the skillet. You, who's, who's chopping without looking? Dude, you 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 do so you see the dirt bigger. though. It's that's why the potato like all the all the I've dark seen brown dirt spots before, like outside, but not ever like on my potato unless I'm in a barn. Are you having an Idaho potato? You know potatoes come out of dirt. Yeah, but like after I'm after they reach the Josh house, there's no more dirt. You must have some clean ass fucking. I mean, I'll clean some vegetables if I'm like feeling like it. But or if somebody's not, like, watching me. I just you don't like raspberries. It. No, oh, I don't know. Just eat them straight out of the fucking if... container. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I don't if, know, if, man. If... There's all those little hairs on them. It makes me paranoid that there's a spider in one of them. So I just Under gotta potatoes? keep watching them. Huh. No, in the raspberries. Oh. They're full of little hairs. Josh, like your potatoes. See, Josh doesn't know what dirt looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just... it's not, My mom it's not didn't want to didn't want to eat broccoli anymore after someone like, told her that. You, like when you wash, like is it just like running it under like water and that's it? Like that's... yeah, pretty much. You don't have to you don't have to wash, rinse it. You just rinse it, really. You don't have to be super hardcore about washing a potato. Oh. I scour them for hours. <laughs> Do you? No. Oh. You just rinse them underwater, you I get out most of the them dirt. underwater, though. So, they, like, yeah, you just, like, rinse it, right? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Give it a little rinse I've and scrub. I've done that before. So you don't get... This is the first time we've completed the level. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> um, yeah, so you don't get the manure and, you know, fertile soil on your food. Yo, you yeah, gotta yeah. wash your rice. If you're not washing your rice, you're actually missing out. Do you have to, like, wash Uncle Ben's rice? I don't even know if that's a food. I don't. <laughs> I don't think so because that comes in a package with like flavorings and stuff, right? Yeah. Do you wash your ramen? No, oh, no, my mom no. thought there were ants no, and no, no. broccoli. You there have could be. to wash the rice because you gotta get as much of the starch out as possible. It makes for a better rice product in the end. You're not washing it to get the dirt out. You're washing it to get the starch out. That's like when you make French fries. I, I died. You gotta put exactly. them in the and get the starch out of the potatoes so that they crisp up better. Do you wash your mashed with. potatoes or just your whole potatoes? Well, you, you don't wash potatoes after they're mashed. <laughs> 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 
Wash them with some freaking butter and garlic. Wash them down my I mean, throat again, with saliva. You're gonna hate this, but this is why I'm also like, I'm not so big on the food poisoning thing. Like before I met, uh, you, <laughs> you know really that that old trend. That one, huh? You really don't believe in food. Poisoning. It's not that I don't believe in it. I just think uh, a lot of times people, you know, make b big mistakes and then they blame it on food poisoning, but it's not food's fault. Cause like I've never. Uh, I, well, until I met Kate, I like very rarely washed produce, and never so got food me. poisoning. Yeah, man, yeah, pretty much correct. Yeah, and I never get food poisoning. Yeah, but just because you don't get it doesn't mean it doesn't. exist. I'm not suggesting it doesn't exist. Just that it's I'm misdiagnosed. Not I'm, not, I'm not existing. When you do get food poisoning, what do you mean it's when? Hell. Well, I, I had food poisoning it's like not two weeks ago. A when. I don't think it's a when. Worst I felt. I think I would have had it by now if I was gonna get it. You're, oh, I, I promise you're gonna get food poisoning at one point. You're saying life. you developed a tolerance, dude. I'm it. not saying I've developed a tolerance. I'm just saying I think it's rarer than people give it credit for. No, I, I mean, I, I just put a curse on you. You're gonna get food poisoning. Yeah, fucking do it. I'd never let on that I would have it. I would, I would rather shit myself on the show than admit having food poisoning at this point. There's no coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get food poisoning. It's the end of my, my credibility. How do we get up? <laughs> Be career suicide. Oh, Wait, no, you, I, oh you yeah. went through the whole. Yeah. You cheater. Kill yourself. <laughs> Jesus. Oh Not like God. that way, but like <laughs> in the game. In the game sphere. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I don't take any offense to that. Have you seen what Chance says about me? Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. He's proven it's gettable. I don't read chat. <laughs> ah! you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be careful with that one. That'll get you every time. <laughs> this NL thing, food poisoning, is some disease. What are you telling me? It is a disease! You know camel spiders, they're like really big, right? Yeah, the size of camels. Yeah. That's, that's why they call them that. I don't know if that's true. I thought they took uh, over the camel's body and then lived in its hump. Yeah, I don't think any of that is true. But, either way, my point Oh, the is camera! The camera didn't follow me! <laughs> Josh, NL is lining straight up in an Isaac episode. He talked about a ramen place that gave him food poisoning. No, not food poisoning. Oh I say it gave me diarrhea. Sorry, Poisoning. That was he just got sick. no. It was diarrhea like 30 minutes after finishing the meal. That was just like some kind of allergy to something that they used to cook. That was like irritating. That was me. it. That's not yeah. food. That might just be minor food poisoning. You can't but... possibly get food poisoning in a half hour. Doesn't make any care. damn sense. Yeah. Chat, you guys are so up your own asses. That's you have hell. no idea. Get yeah. There we go. NL is right. Thank you. The one doctor in chat agrees with me. <laughs> How do you know he's a doctor? Does he have a doctor in the name? Oh, he, he, he DM'd I'm allergic to peanuts. I just ate a bunch of peanut butter. I got food poisoning. It's not food poisoning. <laughs> well, you got you poisoned of... by food, but that's yeah. not food poisoning. Technically, he did get poisoned by food. No, so if I put so. cyanide in like a milkshake, that's food poisoning. Wow, looks like a, it's lethal food poisoning. Just another fatal food poisoning here. Open well, and shut me... case, Lou. Let me ask you a separate question then. Do they put any rats in rat poison? I think not. What probably. in the world is that supposed to prove? Oh, he's right. <laughs> right? He's got exactly. you roasted. Mm -hmm. Dead to rights. Told you. Should I believe the one person in the call or the 6,500 people in chat? Have you ever seen the Twitch you know chat, what chat before? Is, like, made of? Chat is just made of anarchy. I'm not saying I'm necessarily right. I'm just saying, you, why don't you just look it up on the internet? Oh, Minimum! Incubation time for food poisoning. Don't. Okay. For Clostridium perfringens, 8 to 22 hours. For you need to come inside and check low, relax yourself, and let the coolie love flow. Camp low bacter, 2 to 7 days. Check this shit out. This oh, I've never low backed anybody. That sounds fun. Here, give me some more minimum incubation times. Uh, hold on, AG Shu in my chat says, Tell NL that I'm a nursing student and food poisoning is caused by everything from a simple bacteria to a serious parasite and sure. can have symptoms ranging from diarrhea to vomiting to yep. life-threatening complications. Right, yeah, no, right. I mean, I, thanks, Wikipedia. Here's one. Vibrio parahemolitis. Four to 30 hours. <laughs> the, oh, wait, no, and Staphylococcus aureus. One to oh, six sorry? hours. There you go. Raw meat and poultry, cheese, cream, unpasteurized milk, and processed meat. There is one type of food poisoning that gives you an incubation period of one to six hours, and it causes nausea, vomiting, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea, but it lasts for one to three days. 
It didn't. It doesn't. Right. I feel like it would say one to two oh, shits. Stomach. All right. All right. One to two Question. shits. You think it'd say that? Once I took a Question shit. Then, Ryan. Once I took a shit, I was fine. Question, Ryan. Though, then if it wasn't food poisoning or from the food, where'd you get the diarrhea? No, from? I think I think it was just that there's an ingredient in the food that is a mild irritant to my stomach or my GI tract somewhere, and it's like, hey, dude, you gotta take a shit. Cool, nope. but diarrhea is like not only do you have to take a shit, it's like instead of making solid poop, we're just gonna give you some. Poop, well, I didn't you know? bring a stool sample to the doctor and go check it out. I just shit this out here. Hey, I'm trying to settle a bet on the in on the internet, doc. <laughs> on the NLSS, doc. <laughs> yeah, on the NLSS. Just shoot some at the fridge and see what sticks. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know it's done. That's yeah, that's how you, you know, know when your diarrhea is your done. Your poop soup's done. Long, hey, yeah. Austin, you, you ever had shit? food poisoning? Yeah, I I talked about it on the show. You ever eaten? Yeah, but when we were listening, did you talk about it? Yeah, yeah. you were there too, Josh. Uh, you missed the vital part of that Josh question, which is when he was listening. Uh, <laughs> which is, <laughs> which is <yeah>. seldom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Code name. Uh, Rainbow Colin Bear Taffy. We have got a uh, Houston in our problem. <laughs> <laughs> you can. <laughs> My like, fellow American. Rainbow Bear. <laughs> you got a Houston in our problem. <laughs> Austin, now that you're here, I want to roast you and Robert. Both of us? <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. What's I up, agree with, what's up with the no, paper I don't, plates? I don't want to accept this. Yeah, what's the what's the roast? What's up with the paper ask? plates? Oh. What's wrong with paper plates? <laughs> no, paper no, no, hold on, hold on. Rob, there's a lot wrong with paper plates. It's wasteful. Austin, we're being jointly roasted here. I want, but I want to make sure we're on a real We have to level. have a united front. Before we start, we've got to be real or no one's He's trying to us. eliminate all the weak points so that you exactly. only have strong ones left. If you so counter the argument, it's hard for me to, you know, come over the top. That's fair. Right. So, here's the thing about paper plates. You don't got to wash them. Oh, wow, that's a new one. Never heard of that yeah. one before. Wait, you don't have to wash them? You can wash them. Wrong this entire you throw, well, time. Well, you can wash them, but it would be a mistake because they're made of paper. I just Rainbow hate bear. the fucking dishes, Woo. man. Yeah, exactly. I hate the, not that I hate let, me, let me ask really? you something. Let me ask you something. They're fine. What's the point of a plate? To it's eat food off of. food. Right. Why nope. use nope. a paper Nothing. plate? Why not just oh, eat off of your desk? Because then you'd have to clean it up. No, you yeah, just you use a paper towel. It's but not no, portable. that's not how cleaning works. Hot <laughs> food, you can't carry it in your hands. What are you talking about? Just put the pot on your desk. I don't Ryan, think so. if I'm going to be on a real level, you need to be on a real level. Okay, too, fair right? enough. <laughs> I think using paper plates is wasteful and contributes to a state of arrested development unbecoming of a man in his uh, early to mid-twenties. Yeah, but like, who cares? Is there a Mario Kart thing where you can- Rob! Like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Josh! <laughs> Just answer my damn question! I don't know if there's a hop button. Nobody plays Mario Kart and goes, what's hop? <laughs> I don't think there's a hop button, though. Is there I a way also to go around corners believe. fast? Or like yeah, yeah, you like use the brake. Yeah. The brake? Yeah, the same way you do with freaking Mario Kart. No, Hold no break. one presses the brake to do it in Mario Kart. You press Hold the break. hop button. Nobody uses hop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you press the hop button. You totally press the hop button. You do. You do yeah, press but you're the a hop hopper. Button. What the fuck is the hop? Just press L, Josh. It's, it's L. Great. It gotta get some normal plates, man. I have I mean, them. I, I just I, I don't want to do the dishes. Yeah, I mean yeah. I've got them too. I also just don't want to do the dishes. Like that's literally the only reason. If you're not doing the dishes, Here's... the dishes are doing you. Is, is there a is there a when secret? I... Oh my God, <laughs> Josh, <laughs> just brace you your like... freaking car, dude. <laughs> When I cook, yeah, I clean while I cook. Well, There's so no what does that mean? You throw the paper plate in the garbage before the food's even made? No, the point is when <laughs> I, I'm done with my dishes when the food is done being made, pretty much. Because then I just clean the pan. But if I add another step, then I have to go back and clean afterwards, so I have the paper plates because I just throw the paper plate. Here's an idea. Empty the pot directly into the trash and eat out of the trash. <laughs> <laughs> that would work, too. Like, if, I, do, uh... I do. I do. I clean while I cook. So there's, like, less dishes. And since, like, if you're cooking, then you're fucking cleaning up, like, right when you're doing it. You have, yeah. to, you have to wait when you're cooking. So just clean all your shit, like, whilst you're doing it. 
I just cook it in I my mouth. Well. Just <laughs> right on in there. Well, yeah, that's what you do you with sandwiches. You, you get a butane torch and you just fucking roast that shit. I'm not as my that's... tongue surface. No, I agree. That's how I consume pasta is I just put a handful of flour and raw eggs in my mouth. <laughs> Why am, am I the uncivilized one for using a plate? You're not uncivilized. Your arguments are uncivilized. That is not you true. And like People are like, yeah, why, why go to a yeah, restaurant? Yeah, it's yeah. wasteful. If I went to yeah, a restaurant and they true. served me on a paper plate and threw it in the trash, I'd be like, change this. I'm never going back to this place. That is wasteful. Really? What if you book. go to fucking street food? They map, give you paper map, map, stuff. Map, 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 I do accept map, that. Oh, yeah. The map, 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 I need map, a new map, invite, by the way. Use paper it, plates buddy. or waste five months of your life doing dishes. Are you... You know, part of being an adult is, like, sometimes doing things you don't necessarily want to do for the Not good true. of yeah, the and human race. if I can eliminate as many of those as possible by spending a little bit of extra money or being a little wasteful, I'm going to do it. Yeah. That's yeah. so why I, I don't agree. fold my clothes. This is... Yeah? Bad. You don't fold you don't... your clothes? No, it's a waste of time. What I are you... Don't fold my clothes. This, I, I totally relate to this because yeah. when I was younger, I was like, Let's... old people are so inefficient. They're always doing things like, you know, they're eating three meals a day, paying their taxes, folding their clothes. That's minutes a week I could be saving. I hate how old you think you are, man. <laughs> I'm just re I'm responsible. Yeah, no, you've moved into the khaki phase of your elderly. Yeah, I love chinos, yeah. dude. I got no problem wearing some chinos. I wear chinos. That doesn't being 28 is great when you're like, check it out. I can eat whatever I want and not die. Being 28 sucks when you're like, I eat off of things that I throw okay, in the trash because right, I'm lazy. Look, I don't fold my clothes. Okay, let's put this into perspective. I'm a 25-year-old man who doesn't leave his house and plays video games for the entertainment of the internet. Yo, dress for the no, job I you want, dude. No, I don't my clothes. Well, that's the job I want. It's this job. You gotta be happy. my job is, oh, he's embracing it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You gotta fold your laundry, man. Why? Because you, like... <laughs> That's like doing your bed. What's the point of doing okay, your no, bed? No, no, okay, no, no. Making your bed is nonsense because literally yeah. it's only made when you're not using it. Which, like, making your bed make makes no bed. sense. Nick, come on, dude. <laughs> Who are you trying to impress? I, I just like bed. having a made bed. It just feels better that way. Yo, know, I wanted, to, I wanted to roast Ryan, but I'm actually on his side with folding your clothes and making your bed and shit. Because that's not, like, even an issue of doing it because you're supposed to. It's like... It improves the quality of your life. Your when shit's you have... gonna be so wrinkly. He, yeah, he but, said but don't Ryan's make the bed and do yeah. fold your clothes. He's against you on the fold. Oh, you're against making, making the bed? bed? Yeah, yeah. Folding your bed like makes no sense. And I don't understand it. Making yeah. the bed? No, that's no, no. That's because you're not presenting you... Nick. For Nick to make his bed makes sense because he's presenting his bed to other people on his webcam. For yeah, me you have to, to look oh, at my okay. stupid bed. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> the way you said that is so weird. Nick is presenting his bed to other people. Well, that's the reason, bed. like, I fold my laundry is because, you know, when I go outside, yeah. people expect, like, you to be wearing clothes that don't look like a freaking piece of popcorn or something like that. What people expect? Yeah, I'm presenting my bed. Why do you go outside with, you know, <laughs> why, why don't we just go outside with dirty clothes then? Well, sometimes I do. Okay, Frankly, see, this is we're where... We're drawing a line somewhere, and apparently Why don't it's you just folding. shit yourself in public? Who cares? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, look, I don't... Okay, okay, okay. I was on Roundtable with a webcam. Oh, yeah, I know recently. that show. <laughs> yeah, right. I was on that recently with, uh, you know, with my... And there uh, there were webcam. no comments at all okay. about <laughs> <laughs> About my, my wall looking like Mosul, but did anybody say, man, Rob's shirt really looks very wrinkly. I don't think anybody did. Well, you got to distract him with a good. dirty wall yeah, before dude. they gave you credit? <laughs> Steeper your charade. Exactly. Yeah, no one, no one cares how wrinkly your shirt is no, when your wall is credit. a, 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 a <laughs> fucking Yemeni prison. I used the same argument to my chat or to Kate because Kate was getting mad at me for not folding my clothes in my chat today, and I was like, no one. Wait, how of often did this come up? What the, the it's been a hot button today. issue today. Yeah. <laughs> But I, uh, I, I said, out of the four years I've been streaming with a webcam, no one's ever said, hey, nice wrinkly clothes, you <laughs> dumbass. Exactly. <laughs> Trust me, I've been watching for it. <laughs> I watch, I mean, I wear t-shirts. You don't what notice it if it's very, if it's wrinkly from not So what do you folded. do? I, I need to know. If I'm, wear, if I'm where, no, 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 this is important. What okay. happens to the clothes? They come out of the dryer. Where do they go next? Yeah. Take me on a walk through the laundry Trade cycle. The floor. <laughs> they are in uh, a bag or my drawers. A, a bag? 
Well, laundry it's bag. sometimes. To be yeah, fair, Rob bag. only wears black t-shirts. Exactly. Yo, but what do you? What do you? What is this bag? <laughs> it's a laundry bag. bag. It's a mesh bag. It's a laundry so you bag. put it out you of the laundry bag. bag into a mesh, or you take it out of the dryer no. into a mesh laundry bag. Yeah. And then you just grab stuff from the laundry stack to wear? When I need it, yeah. And then what happens after you take it off? Then I put it in the in the garbage pile and I burn it. You're using a, a laundry bag <laughs> exclusively to hold clean clothes? Well, like I said, not all the time. Sometimes I put it in the drawers as well. When you get, like, dirty clothes, do you put them in the laundry bag as well? No. Well, Do you have a I separate can... dirty laundry bag that you use Look, this for is America? A man can have more than one laundry bag. <laughs> oh. That was an interesting sound. I'm, I'm with you on folding clothes. I think you should fold them, but not because I think it's a good idea, just because it's like a stupid tradition that I've been doing. Uh, in some places, though, they'll shame you if you don't iron your clothes, and I think that's going too far. That's, yeah, you don't need to iron your clothes. There well, are times that, that you thing? iron, but not all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Why not iron if you're gonna fold? Because folding takes care of that shit for you most well, of the time. Well, yeah, like, I'm not gonna iron a t-shirt. That's just I ridiculous. Fold How do you guys you store your underwear? I like to roll mine up. I'm a folder. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm a folder. See, now, the folding of the underwear only That's makes sense for a couple of reasons. One of which is that they space. take up less space in the drawer, and the yeah, other yeah. one is that they just feel nicer. When they're like, you're, you're, now you're, you're not, when they're absolutely. when they're flat and they're not wrinkly, the underwear feels not, better. You are insane. I don't know what the fuck. Oh wait, okay, okay, wait. More surface question. areas making contact it with your. It stretches over your dick. It doesn't like. Roll it up. Pull yeah, it. roll it up. You you fold it and then. A you roll, roll is fine. I've got no problem no. with the roll. This is an important question. Are you are you a boxer briefs or boxers man? I'm a boxer briefs man. So then it doesn't make a difference if you fold them or not, then. How so? Roll it. It's elastic and fabric. It's well, are you like laying them map, flat? The map. Are you laying them flat in the drawer? Or are you just cl crumpling them up and then are throwing you, are them in? Are you crumping and tossing? I, I need to know, like, here's... When I, have to, so, when I have to select clothes for the day, I go to my chest of drawers. I open the underwear drawer, I pull out some clean underwear and socks. Go to the t-shirt drawer, I pull out a t-shirt, go to the closet, and get, like, something off a coat hanger, right? Are you actually just feeling in the mystery bag until you get a selection of four <laughs> items that are clean? Like, you're like, oh, I pulled out four pieces of underwear in a row. Like, I've got to keep going until I get a t-shirt. Well, you know where they are once you touch them once. Yeah. If I'm particularly lazy, yes. If, uh, if, if not, then no, I'll put them in a specific drawer. I can't help but notice that uh, Austin's being mighty quiet through this last uh, little... He probably uses a laundry bag, too. I... Look. I just... <laughs> See? I just, I just got a gift today, or a couple days ago. My mother brought, uh, bought me something for my birthday. She bought me a uh, dresser. <laughs> to send oh, well, a that's message. nice. Is that your first? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, make sure you read the instruction manual. It's pretty complicated. <laughs> uh, and I, I literally... I have laundry that I'm going to go get after the show and put it uh, into the dresser. Wow, this is a time. highly relevant day for you to have yeah, this Yeah, it is. Very important. Maybe next year she'll get you a sink and you can finally <laughs> start doing some dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, secondary question. Do you guys have a dad have roast? <laughs> do you guys have dishwashers in your house? I do, I, I do, do, but I don't use okay, them. Okay, see, that's I do not. It's not cheating. Okay. It's just... Oh, what so not cheating? doing it is the thinking man's way. <laughs> doing it efficiently, exactly. that's cheating. No, I would love yeah, to have a dishwasher, but I don't okay. have one. Oh, okay. What do you, is, what do you got while to you're say on a here, computer, kid? man? Yeah, hey, let's just uh, let's just abandon technology. Yo, if my computer could wash my dishes, okay. then I would let my computer wash my dishes. I doubt it. Austin, Kate says that you said your underwear is too small to fold. Look. <laughs> awesome. You're just rocking G-strings all day? Is that what's happening? Tell me about your underwear. You mean what you is a this? small what? waist? You're not buying, like, size 26 underwear. There's small, medium, large. He's got a good point. Look. <laughs> Look, we don't need to get into this, alright? I feel like we do. <laughs> I feel like it's important. I also feel that, to be honest with you. Also bees. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Just explain. Explain what? 
Are you, are you rocking? Okay, so we, we were talking well, yeah, about There's boxers. so many questions here. We were, talking about, <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about boxer briefs. Are you just rocking briefs? No, no, no. Oh, but, but even before that, can we ask what too small to fold even means? <laughs> it's like you can only fold a piece of paper six times before it right. collapses. <laughs> yeah. Before you divide by zero, pretty much. Look. If it's too small, you can fold it. You can totally fold it, but the si the space that you're saving is not proportionate to the time you're spending folding no. it. No. Do you know how long it takes to fold a piece of... Underwear is, like, top on the folding priority because it's so easy. the easiest, if not yeah, socks, maybe. Why do it if it doesn't... No, do socks it. socks take me a little bit longer because I put, like, one sock in the other oh, sock. I mean, me too, but the, the main the problem... No time at all. No, main problem with socks is you got to match them. That's nope. Oh no! I, I did that problem. I bought a you twenty have one pack of standard black sock. sock and then oh, then, okay, yeah. I mean, I've yeah, I've probably yeah. got like, you know, fifteen pairs of four different kinds of socks. So I mean, there is some mixing and matching going on there, I suppose. Dump all my, but one my and buy another pack in a while. Are you saying that you don't match your? You just wear two socks of any kind? Of course. But why? You have wait. I, what? I only have one kind of surprise you though. I mean, I got, I got, I, I mean, I'm not gonna wear a white sock and a black sock, but I have. Why not, Roberts? And I have black socks. Well, cause I don't know, it looks silly if somebody saw my pant leg, but like, they're not generally. <laughs> Most of the time, how often are your people gonna look up your pant leg? Um, brought with wearing two kinds of socks. <laughs> no, if, I mean, if they, if they, if they're thematic, I will, I'll rock two different types of socks. There is, you know what? There's such a, a chartable NLSS conversation for every single theme. <laughs> it's always, I come over the top being like an extremist, and everybody's yeah. like, whoa, slow down there, you know, fascist. <laughs> and then slowly, as as the other side elaborates more and more, they go like, ah, I was with you until you took it to the level of absurdity, and I'm starting to think that other guy's got a little bit of a point. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you fast forward five minutes from, why don't we put the socks inside each other, too? Why don't we just eat the socks? <laughs> That's a good idea. I would not eat edible socks. That's I... Ra I, I need to know more. Yeah. Okay. You go outside. Let's say it's the yeah. spring. You wear sneakers? Okay. Are you a sneaker man? Sometimes. I'm, no. I really wear boots more than Okay, boots. sure. Do Matt. you put socks on when, before you go Matt. outside? Matt. Uh, yes, of Matt. course. Matt. Always. Yes. Yeah, okay. Because no, if you if you don't if you don't if you don't wear socks with your shoes, I change the map. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a second. Yeah, but it's more fun to just say map a lot. Yeah, that's what I like saying map. That's probably my favorite part. Map. But anyway. Um, so yeah, of course, because then you're gonna make your 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 your, your sneakers or your boots all stinky if you do if you don't wear socks in your shoes. Your shoes? Wait, your feet are making your shoes stinkier than your yeah. shoes are making your feet? Yeah. No, dude. Well, I I don't know what the order of operations is on your feet stink, but I do know that if you're wearing no socks in your sneakers, your boots are gonna get more stinky. That's probably true. Did you guys it walk is. around barefoot when you were a kid? I don't like being bad. Yes, I know. Yes, absolutely. Nah. I did it all the time. But I, I didn't live in the city like Robert. Wait, here's yeah. one for you. You're at home. What do you got in your feet? Nothing. Uh, I have socks. Right socks now. and slippers. Not right a now. damn thing. But I, I came home from working, and so like. Yeah, I was wearing slippers too. Okay, let's say it's a Saturday. Yeah. Ideal footwear. Uh, socks like and nothing. slippers. I didn't, like, wake up. Well, like Not throughout the thing. day. <laughs> Well, like, okay, so, like, check this out. If I if I wake up in, like, yeah. even if, like, I shower, so, no, 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 like, I, if I'm going somewhere, I'll put on socks before I go somewhere. Right. But if I'm just, if I, before I go somewhere, it's fair. I'm not asking you if you wear socks outside. I know you're not Robert. No, I don't wear socks. I wear socks outside! <laughs> <laughs> I prefer no socks to socks. Really? As long as none of us are, like, I know Nick said slippers. I'm no problem with that. As long as nobody said, uh... Like, I'm a shoes-in-my-own-house sort of guy. I can be. Like, I grew up, and I always, like, had shoes on. Inside uh, of the house. 
It's not like I, I fucking woke up and I was like, all right, I gotta put my shoes on and hang out inside. No, like after you come in. From Are outside, you so obsessed with like the the order of how these things take place? <laughs> I ask you a simple question you're and you're like, well, the whole because thing. because this is, there, there's like a spectrum. So the and idea is, if you were wearing shoes outside when you came home, you wouldn't take you would them wear, off. Yeah, you would keep the shoes on. Whereas, if you just leave, or if you just like wake up for the day, and you want. I'm not gonna put shoes on and hang out inside. You but know? you would leave them on if you, yes. if you came home with them on. Yes. Why would typically? You do that? Yeah. That's not weird. so much anymore because, like, I have a home and like I want to keep like the. Do you have specifically floor. indoor shoes or would be the same no, shoes? No, I have no indoor shoes. So, well, you're just making your floor dirty. You're, yeah, well, I take them, like, now that I am an <laughs> well, adult, I, 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 I didn't house. mean to offend you, I'm just saying. No, listen, listen, <laughs> now that I'm an adult and I own my own home, I, I do not wear shoes inside. All right, that's good. But you could if you wanted to, yeah, your I fucking house. On. It's my parents' house, fuck that. They, yo, but they liked you walking around with your shoes on? They didn't mind. That's weird. You know yeah. what? Jess does and tells me it is more common in the UK, so take Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. I know. I don't know. <laughs> Chat's gonna a... fucking <laughs> Chat's gonna freak the fuck out. But anyway, what she does anyway is uh, wear a dressing gown. Yeah, what is yeah, that? I'm mean? not for that. Like a, a it like a salad basically. thing. <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't. You, she's not wearing uh, balsamic and oil. Do you yeah. ever just only wear shoes and nothing else? <laughs> There is like no. a weird, there's a weird equilibrium, or not even equilibrium, but like a point that you cross where you don't feel comfortable in the outfit that you've chosen. Like, you ever put like your socks on before your underwear? No. That doesn't feel right, because my ankles are like, I'm good to go. But my cock is like, hey dude, like, aren't you forgetting something? That would be re I would want. Then you rub one out, right? My like, cock yeah. is like, are you forgetting something? <laughs> like, Actually, try it next time you get dressed. Well, I don't know about you guys. If I'm completely naked, what clothing are you putting on first? I'm putting on underwear first. I put on underwear, yeah. No, yeah. Sure, yeah. Well, sometimes a shirt. It depends. Uh, t-shirt. T-shirt before t underwear. T-shirt, socks. T-shirt and then socks. Okay, this is out of <laughs> that's, the that's, that's like that's a POW weird, yeah. outfit. <laughs> <laughs> If I'm coming out of the shower, I'm putting on both a shirt what and What happened underwear. to this level? So sometimes it'll be a shirt first, but I'm gonna put the underwear on like seconds later. So it's not like I'm walking Ah, uh, fuck you, you big rock. I might like, oh. I do t-shirt socks and like brush my teeth. What? And then you brush, you brush Wait, really? your teeth. Uh, and with then a t-shirt like at that point i guess <laughs> you're fucking with me this is not that's <laughs> a sign of mental no illness yeah. that's it's an illness that is an illness <laughs> the order i put my clothes on is an illness well the fact that you put you put a chore in between finishing the dressing <laughs> is is indicative of there being a larger problem somewhere <laughs> nick are you okay no <laughs> <laughs> okay Secondary question, because we all knew it was leading to this. We're, we're all men here. Yeah, hell um, yeah. Don't you forget, when, it, buddy. When you have right. sex. Sorry, what'd you, take, you say? When you're having sexual relations. What's that? You take, and you, you take your socks off, right? Yes. That's what sexual relations is, taking your socks <laughs> take off. Taking your socks off? I'm, that's I'm just <laughs> saying. It should. The, you, how, you how do you know off. it's time for sex unless I'm wearing my business socks? <laughs> that's a good point, yeah. Wait, how do you know it's time for sex? When I'm wearing my business socks. Oh. That, that's when you know it's business time. Yeah. It's business. It's business time. time. Yeah, it's business time. I know what you're Ooh, trying to say. Good. You're trying to say it's time for business. It's business time. Ooh. It's business time by the flight of the Concords. Basically, <laughs> that was a PSA from me to you, chat. If you're a dude, you take your goddamn socks off when you're having sex. Yeah. What if you put on a second pair? <laughs> These are my sex socks. <laughs> <laughs> you should definitely put a cock sock on, I'll tell you that much. Did you guys take your underwear off during sex? No. no. <laughs> you pull through the hole. Yeah, you just put your yeah, dick out yeah, through, you the pull through the hole. That's what it's that, for. Leave right? your Why balls you inside that? so they don't get hurt. <laughs> Why else do they have that there if that's not what it's for? That's what it's for. Exactly. Map. 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 The worst oh. combination of sex clothing. It's oh, like no. a hat and sunglasses, trench no coat, 
<laughs> a coat, sure. A, a couple of wristbands. The vest Aladdin then... wears before he becomes <laughs> part of the royalty. Do you use Absolutely. the flap when you pee? No, I don't use the flap when I pee. Absolutely not, yeah. The, the cloaca. The, the flap makes no sense to me. It's... People use it. I... Josh, do you <laughs> use it? What? The flap on your underwear? The underwear flap. The dick flap. No, like, it, when you're wearing, like, boxer briefs, like, that thing is useless. I don't understand yeah. the point. I can of the imagine, flap. like, if you were if you were wearing, like boxers and like you did the flap, I'd be like, all right, that's it's there. Fuck it. Why is it, it useless? Why is it useful? It, 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 to put your dick through it. It's way more work to guide your dick yeah. through the labyrinth of the two yeah. folds of the flap than it is yeah. to just pull the I'm waist bounds down. That is malleable. <laughs> no. No, that shit, you guys are on crack if you're using if you're using the flap on boxer briefs. I'm not no, I'm not gonna stand for y'all demonizing the flap <laughs> I, on boxers. I have to imagine the flap no, no, only exists boxers, boxer because briefs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah no, boxers uh, get a pass though. Yeah, but of course boxers. That's where we're drawing the line. Right. I mean, I'm not no, saying boxers, boxers get it. I uh, yeah. Because the boxers what like the, the, boxer the, the waistband is so heavy. much heavier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boxers are like uh, way looser than boxer briefs. That's what I'm saying. That's why I approved the flap on the box. It's way looser. Why would that? You don't have to feel like you're jimming your cock through the hole. <laughs> <laughs> but like, makes a hole where it wants. I don't see the argument for the use of the flap. There's no world in which that is the most efficient way. You gotta save time, man. That is not saving time. In you gotta make two turns instead of taking a shortcut straight through waistband alley. <laughs> it's like a fucking Harry Potter place. It's like so you don't have to get your butt out when you're in a freaking... What? Public, no, you're Nick. Your Nick. You can what? Pull down you're not the dude you who pulls saying. down his pants like all the way to his ankles at the urinal, are you? I was just saying the opposite. I'm saying the point of the flap is so you don't have to down your pants. You just you pull the waistband down over the genitals. Like a normal adjusted <laughs> civilized man and do it the old fashioned way. You could just not pull your pants down at all. I'm tired Wait, of you're gonna open the fly? Well, yeah, just you're the gonna thing. open just the fly and then navigate the flap and the the canals of the zipper. I think we've had a misunderstanding. I don't know that we have. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. yeah. <laughs> I want this. People are like, does NL not wear a belt? story. You know how many times I've urinated in my life? Two, Be six, belt off, two. belt off, button undone, waistband pulled down. Takes like less than a half of one second to do. Absolutely. Until you do it at the airport, and then it takes like two hours. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, why would the airport may take more time? What, is a more complicated bathroom <laughs> set up there? When they tell you... When, when they well, you gotta to take, take the time to rate it afterwards. <laughs> I, I'm very like concerned about what I'm hearing here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not belt off. Belt on buckle. That's all I mean. Hey, what do you guys... Do you do the button... Or do you do just the zipper when you urinate? The button! Of course the button! I've never just, agreed wait, what the more fuck? with Robert in my what life. What the hell does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just do the... Like, how are you gonna... Some wait, people wait, just lower the zipper, the zipper and then they pull their they tanks out? out. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I've done that, yeah. That, but do you do it? No, I do not. Okay, that's... Yeah. that's I, again, I wear box of briefs now, so I can't. What if you don't have you a button and it's just a flap? What? Wait, is that possible? Wait, what is, what do you First mean? place for one. How? <laughs> but also, what do you mean you do, you don't have a you don't have a button on your jeans? No, that's not what I mean. I meant on the underwear. I thought you were talking about the no, underwear. No, button. no, no, no. I'm talking about jeans. You go zipper or button and zipper. Who the yeah. Fuck does button? So like, if, no, who if, does if, button? <laughs> what? <laughs> are, you, are you telling me that there's people out there that are you telling me? keep their button? Button on their jeans, pull down their <laughs> underwear, shove their cock through the <laughs> zipper hole. I think if you do zipper only, you have to go flap. Yeah, what are I mean, these fuckers the only talking way. about? <laughs> what the fuck? You undo your zipper. I want to hear Josh describe it again. It's not that difficult. 
Wait, Nick. Jesus walk Christ. us through walk us through the urinal. I just did. Do it again, <laughs> please. <laughs> Undo your zipper, pull your dick out of your underwear flap. Wow. That the is... end. <laughs> wow. I didn't know wow. that people like you actually exist. This guy. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm on team Nick. I'm, I'm Are you standing what? strong with him. Why not undo the button? Why not take the button? There's out? no problem with it, man. But you're going to get is... your dick caught in the zipper. No, it's a, you got to be a fucking idiot to do that, man. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And you you got to be a fucking idiot. It's so much more work. To That's get it through the single aperture, like the lined up eclipse of all the planets, than it is to just undo the flap and then pull it out. You gotta take a step back comparing your dick to astronomy. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know what makes it easy, guys, is that I just got a tiny little wiener down there, so I can, just, I can pull it out no problem. I, well, why, why would you ever have underwear? That just means you gotta do laundry. I just piss in my pants and then throw them out. <laughs> <laughs> I really might as well just get diapers. <laughs> yeah, Austin, awesome. how do you feel about that diapers. shit right there? I, I'm so tilted. Why don't you just shit happened. yourself, Austin, so you never have to do <laughs> no, laundry? Just no, you're doing the spend a little bit more money on diapers that you can just throw out. I wasn't talking because you were like, how did I get first? Because halfway that fucking race, my car glitched into the ground and sat there for 30 <laughs> seconds. Like, move. Oh, you just shit yourself. Uh, Should have. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking triple yeah, roll. I hate it telling me great jump like I did something. Yeah, like I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Force me <laughs> off the ramp. <laughs> I literally was on the goddamn <laughs> front of the water. Why am I being attacked in fucking ninth place though? Because <laughs> I was behind you in ten. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that enough? Isn't that enough? Yeah, the whole flap thing. You honestly have to stop that. <laughs> Hashtag Team Flap. Where are you at in chat? Let me see you. Stand strong. Why? They're just gonna spam it because they want to. You can't say that. Hell yeah, dude. That means we win if that happens. Me of. But I'm not gonna know, let you shame you... everybody that does that. Is the main thing. When you pull it through the flap, you're like you're you're like uh, dislodging your penis, and you gotta like. Oh my it god! Out, you're man. not like... dislodging your penis. <laughs> you're dislodging your penis. <laughs> you're pulling it up and out. Yeah, he has a point. Let me tell you what you're doing with your dick. <laughs> it's, it snakes out of you. You don't yeah. want to do that. Absolutely true. It's just so true. much more work. I just like, is what? it really that much more work to unbutton the flap? I can't I I that. I argue that it's less flap, work, though. honestly. I think it is as well, yeah. Or at least, you know, it's more steps, but the steps save you time in the end. That's probably true. And the point, when do, when do you, you when you pull it back in, how does that work? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. What are you gonna just keep it up in your belt? <laughs> you know what I think happened? Okay, he, at some what? point in my life, I was like, you know, you know, this hole is probably here for a reason. Okay. Well, yeah. I guess I could do this. Oh, all right. And then I just kept doing it that way. Yeah. And I never made like a conscious decision at any point that this was like the superior method. I was just decided that this was how I was gonna do just it. Just following orders. I get it. Yeah. yeah. My point is. You should have made that. You should have taken the critical thinking. I, you know what? The less decisions that I'm aware of having made, the better. <laughs> you know, the best time to learn how to pee was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I I had to learn how to write differently because I hold my fucking pencil like a weirdo. Why don't you just? Oh, like, I do that too. Not like a weirdo. Yeah, you hold your fucking pants pencil like a weirdo too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you now. <laughs> that was good. It's not that hard to do the flap. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, how do you put your dick back in? Like, how does it slide in? <laughs> how do you put your... No, I want to know this too. How yeah, do you it's put your dick back in. I'm most how do you think I put my Isn't dick Isn't your schlong <laughs> touching metal at times? Like... I have a, a pulley yeah, and lever system. Yeah, and I'm a system. man. I can handle a metal bit on my dick. Yeah, but I'm why right, would you? If yeah, you but we can't handle your metal, metal <laughs> bit on your dick. <laughs> I just don't understand why you would willingly want that. It's like, yeah, I can handle, like, a broken leg as well, but it's, I'm not going to actively iron. seek it out, like, four times I'm a day. I'm not afraid of some little copper fucking stupid fly. It's made of iron. <laughs> I get off on the minor pain every time I take a piss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I Honestly, cut it in the no. zipper just to see which one's tougher. I really, I really, <laughs> I really am more concerned about the other part. Is how you 
how you reassess your penis situation afterwards. Like, what do you do with your? Do you like massage it? What do you do with it afterwards? Wait, wait, yeah. I'm what are you talking about? Reassess. <laughs> well, okay. So think about the <laughs> physics of this. Okay. Right, you you whip out your dick, right, and you're gonna be putting it back through the little flappy thing. Oh, I'm right? a super paralooper, guys. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> so when you're pulling it back into the flap or pushing it back into the flap, because pulling it out, it's gonna be sitting in the proper location. Yeah. Right. The sun may rise in the east. Yeah. Exactly. When you put it back in, how is it gonna reassert its dominance in the downward fashion that is the most comfortable? You just mash it. <laughs> See exactly. That's the part that I wanted to hear because that sounds awful. Why would you, you do smash that? it in there? <laughs> smash it up. Just so slam it into the edge of the urinal. Just pound it. Show it who's dominant. I don't understand. Lady Grey, you're lucky you don't hear this bullshit. <laughs> you guys need to go to like a workshop or something. <laughs> Or church. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so if you're scared, go to church. How do you feel about button flies? I don't like them. What's what's not a button fly? Oh, well, the one. Yeah, it's, 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 it's all buttons. Yeah, right. It's all yeah. Buttons, I like them. Yeah. I I, like I'm them. a zipper man personally, but I have both. Yeah. I have both too, but like the thing is, like, you know, it's just more more work. You know, you got a button all up. You got to button up all well, the buttons. You were expressing a certain intimate fear about being crushed inside of a zipper. <laughs> now, if you bring a button problem in, there's not much you can do other than strangulate it to death. Yeah, you I get, mean, like, snaps. Like, that's true. Like that, I have less fear with a button fly. Yet, you could loop a fucking pube around the inside of the button and rip it off. Well, not my buttons. That's not my gumdrop buttons. Honest, Shrek. I don't really wear pants anymore, though. What is wrong with you? You guys are actually in for, like, a rude awakening. <laughs> no, I wear I wear gym shorts all the time. All the time? Oh, yeah. Constantly. And you're, you think I think I'm old? Good luck with this one, Bear. <laughs> it's like a 70-year-old's outfit. Old on the other oh, side. How is that elderly? Wear, wearing exclusively gym shorts is... is a very youthful I mean, I th it's endeavor. almost like uh, something that gets you put on the register. You gotta keep that shit tied up as much as possible. Well, okay, 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 okay. Though, I'm, I'm kind of with Bear on this one, but the thing that I want to ask is, if you're going out to dinner, you're not wearing your gym shorts. Yeah, you put on jeans. You put on jeans. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. If I'm going to the store, I'm, I'm with Bear. I, I wear my pajamas. Yeah, now, fuck the store, man. Fuck yeah. the people in the store thinking I need to wear jeans. No. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm going to wear my comfy-ass shorts and pants in the store. I only have to impress one person aesthetically, and she's not there to watch me go to the store <laughs> and buy beers. So, like, I'm fine on that front. This is, you this guys is what the other fucking. I know, the, dude. The tracks is like. Do you see, like, you're you're over there in the private sector. I've got to fight against yeah. these influences day in and day out. <laughs> like, who crazy. gives a shit about people in what? the supermarket? Like, who cares? What you're they telling me, gym shorts at Walmart is what's wrong with society? <laughs> I'm saying that's like maybe a part of it. No. Gym shorts, fucking pulling your dick out through holes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh Jesus. You should try like going out in the kind of like outfit that makes people respect you and like not <laughs> look, give you a funny look when they see you. Yeah, Who like when's cares? like take your when's it, when's take your YouTubers to work day? Is it, everyone's. <laughs> no, I always know if I would take you guys. I would. I how would is have that to take position Ryan anything but superficial? One. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys are. Don't try to swerve your laziness into like an enlightenment. Come on now. <laughs> no, if you don't have respect for yourself, have respect for me at least. <laughs> but you're never gonna see these people ever again. Who cares? I might see them again. Who knows, dude? So who knows? Maybe you're in the store and the. Oh, look at that. That's Bill Gates. Oh, excuse me, Bill Gates. Can I have a billion dollars? No, you're wearing gym shorts. There you go. You just cost yourself a billion dollars. <laughs> Bill Gates is a bad example because Bill Gates like wears the same sweater and If you're a like, billionaire you can wear whatever the fuck you want. It's wow. True. It all comes out. Yep. Yep. It Classist right here. I wonder out. he's so pro pro corporation on round mm -hmm. table. That's okay. Yeah. Wow. It all comes out. You walked right into that one, buddy. No, I drove into it with my Porsche 911 GTR that Bill Gates gave me because I showed up wearing an adult outfit to the supermarket that he also frequents for some reason. 
<laughs> Alright, what positive benefit have you gained previously from uh, getting dressed up to go to the supermarket? I don't know. I, like, in, I feel good about myself because I'm well adjusted to adult life. <laughs> well, also, then that's a personal accomplishment for yourself. That doesn't, that doesn't like, doesn't make me feel better. It makes me feel like I wasted my time. <laughs> what? Like putting on clothes? Yeah, I put on jeans and get all dolled up to go to the supermarket. <laughs> all all dolled up, fucking yeah. jeans. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I was like? Should when I, I go out, I'm just like, too? I'm not gonna really work at this. You know, I'm just Should fucking I... going, going, go. I go out in jeans. That's like my bottom line. Should I file my nails? <laughs> Cut my split ends. <laughs> I mean, you can file them down. You don't want them like, yeah, you know, weird. I'm all like, pointy, like you know, Smeagol yeah. or something like, you, like, like that. Fucking like, I mean, I, your hands. Yes, I do cut my nails, but that's just leave the pinky. Mm, should I brush my that. teeth? <laughs> 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 well, again, that's for me though. No, that's for the people around you. Why yeah. not just go naked? Because it's illegal. Nap. Yep. Here's here's my impression yep. of the NLSS. <laughs> That's number one. Cool. Cool. Here's the thing. Oh, logical extreme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what if we were all blind? Would you still put on jeans then? <laughs> Position presented as ultimatum. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that Yoda? <laughs> that was not Yoda. That's pretty close to Yoda. It's almost. Yeah, Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> We're not as happy as you reach. Looks so good. You are not. <laughs> hey, Yoda! I want to revisit this conversation in like five years. Yeah, and just say, just see what it's like. This conversation five years ago. I wish. Yeah, yeah, me too. Actually, I'm like, hell yeah, dude. Who who has time for that shit? Folding their laundry. <laughs> I'm doing valuable stuff like watching an entire season of a television show in one day. I couldn't possibly <laughs> afford to be distracted with something like Dude, folding my laundry while I do it. That makes me much that makes me feel much more complete than getting you know dressed in jeans and folding my laundry. Watching an entire television series? Yes. What the Absolutely. Fuck? I know, I Josh. Like <laughs> this is where you you have these conversations I, and you go, maybe they're right about millennials. Yeah, like I've heard like bits and I've heard like bits and pieces about like this whole like Skype conversation that I'm not in. I'm really glad that I'm I'm not. You're in it. Oh no, you I don't look it. at it. I block that shit. Josh. <laughs> to keep saying Josh. from this, you, my house Wait, you could leave it. You don't have to block it. No, I'm just fucking with you. Oh. <laughs> You're you you know what your war on happiness has got to stop. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And I'm gonna front the resistance. Look, somebody's <laughs> got to pretend to be aristocratic. Otherwise, there's no <laughs> dynamic in this conversation. It's are just you a, just trying I to am... save face for all the actual responsible adults out there who are looking for that positive <laughs> influence? I just I feel like we have an impressionable audience, and then like I worry that they're gonna be like, well, you know, Robert lives an out-of-control lifestyle, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but like, am I the person on the NLSS that people look up to and be like, you know what, I want to be more like Rob. I don't you're know, dude. I don't friend. know if you can control I want to be more like Rob. Are Nick, you your, your car is awesome, by the way. I don't I don't want Thanks, us to be man. the gross crew, guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't want him to be the adult just because he thinks that the other adults want him to be the adult. Man, I mean, I, I, the adult. I might live one of the... Josh probably lives a more adult life than I do. Despite having more childlike wonder, I would definitely say that that's probable. I have a mortgage. Josh yeah, exactly. has, like, yeah, Josh has the most adult life. I, I think I've. Maybe I think that's fair. Worse. But I, you know, of yeah. of the people doing this full time, I might have the most adult life, for better or for worse. Mm, I don't know. I think Bear has a. No, yeah, don't put me above. I no, see this motherfucker up. playing Rocket League at like 2 p.m. every <laughs> Tuesday. So don't tell me it's like that's a normal yeah. adult now, situation. Don't... I got a schedule, man. Let me let me live my schedule, but yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna put myself up the four in the morning. Is, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's my different. 45 minutes of leisure time a night, so I don't go yeah. postal. Who takes it at different times? I'm I'm the one that's Dude, not. I'm not trying to sell you out. Schedule. I'm trying to sell Robert out because he. Tried right. to <laughs> you sold Robert out by selling Barry. I saved I your never... face and then you threw me under the bus. That's exactly what happened. Exactly. I was looking out for you. I have no horse in this race. I know I'm doing the most adult life out of anybody. Well, yeah, I mean, like that's... probably anybody. But you own a. Oh, you said you don't own a horse. Yeah, no, I don't. Oh, have that's no true. Horse. Dan, Dan also hilariously probably leads the one of the most adult yes. lives. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Dan is more adult true, than yeah. I am. That's probably yeah, true. Yeah. I mean, he has yeah. a kid. 
He yeah. does, yeah. yeah. And he, pro he probably has a mortgage, too. He might have more than one. He has but probably, like, ten. Yeah. Having the kid is, like, I think that's just, that that supersedes everything, honestly. Like, having, well, what it is is, that. like, when you have a kid, you multiply your adultness by a factor of either, like, ten or negative ten. If you if you have a kid and you're taking care of it, you are ten times the adult that an adult without kids is. If you have yeah. a kid and you're not taking yeah. care of it, you're more of a child than you oh, have a kid is. Oh, man. Oh, that's yeah. a double -edged sword okay. right there. Ch Jeez. Children are yeah. dangerous. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. they, they really could go either way, right? <laughs> they could burn the knob on the stove, burn the whole house down. You don't want that. Could end up raising well, a bunch I mean, of dirty flap users. <laughs> when you said it like that, I thought that? it was a new app for iPhone. <laughs> Pretty flap users. Did we get that straw poll? Apparently, yeah, I it's up. Know. Yeah. Hey! I love that somebody said uh, they sent us that picture of that enormous piece of fish, and we're like, "There's no way you can eat this with your hands." And then <laughs> you fuckers were up. like, "You just pick it up. You don't pick. Yeah. It's too big <laughs> to be wieldy when you pick it up." It was literally not even that big. It was the size of like one and a third of a pizza, of a slice of pizza. <laughs> it it was also so small. They had the French fries there. It was the you size of the it lemon. Was lemon and fries. Oh, what have I done? And <laughs> Shut up, you brought this up. <laughs> <laughs> I was irrationally angry when that was tweeted at me. Oh, how can I pick this up? It's so big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> apparently 60% are button and waistband. 60%? Yeah. That's much more what? I, I would have thought it was like 85. Oh, I, I didn't know what straw poll we were doing. I thought we were doing flap users. Map. Well, that is flap no. users. Map. Wait, flap. are you doing button, Map. waistband, and then pulling your dick out through the flap? Map. Wait, hold on, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, no, this is that's important. That's I the know. worst of okay, all so worlds. What I'm doing, yeah. I got map, just map, like straight map, up jeans map, with a zipper. Map, yeah, map. Yeah, map. boots oh, with you the got map. All right, okay, jeans with the zipper. Got it. Yeah. Apple bottom jeans with the boots with the yeah. yeah, boots with the furs. Yeah, you got jeans with a zipper. You take the zipper down. You, you pull it out of the flap. That's it. Take the zipper down. Pull it out. Okay, so yeah. I mean, if you're in for a penny, in for a pound. Yeah. If you're already gonna Wait, do so the wrong thing, you might as well do one. You're only going through. No, he's got to go. He's got to go through the flap. He's got to go through what? the flap, and then he goes through the zipper with the button he still goes, done up. Yeah. Well, so but the, the two other flaps. Way around. He goes through yeah, two flaps. flaps. Yeah, the two flap flaps. and the I'm, zipper. I'm a, I'm a two-flap Tony. I want to I want to find the one flapper. <laughs> yeah, the dude who pulls his jeans the off. The waistband, and then the... And then puts it out <laughs> through the flap anyway. <laughs> it's like I want people to see the back of my legs, but I don't want them to see my balls. <laughs> 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 okay, here's a, here's a question. For okay. those of you who are waistbanders, you pull your balls out too? No. no. That'd be awesome. I you don't? You just pull the dick out? Yeah, most well, of the time. Wait, yeah. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to pull the pee I'm trying to think. You would have to. No, you you don't need to pull the ball. Pulling balls out is excessive. Yeah, you, that is. That's totally like unreal. and hilarious. I I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to imagine myself at a at a urinal. Do I pull yeah. the balls out? I well, you don't pull, know. I mean, I'm trying to yeah, I'm I mean, trying to think like what it doesn't feel like I. Your fucking sagging nuts. Like, oh, so I'm the weirdo at the dude looking I, 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 over at the urinal. I'm just saying, like, you think any of our parents are watching this episode? I, I hope my not. no, my parents usually cut out after like the first hour. <laughs> All right, <laughs> they're just really big Before fans of Isaac. It's sad that I they they've, they've spawned me. I can't imagine <laughs> if you guys had my parents. <laughs> That'd be weird, right? I, <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah. I'd be like, wow, my brother weird, is yeah. a jerk. <laughs> yeah. I do want to know though, like how what Pop Smith does to his dick. Pop Smith nice. does it to his dick. He probably does yeah, mom's does to his dick. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't do her with his dick. He does her to his dick. To his dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what does that even mean? Come uh, here to my dick. <laughs> why would you go through the effort of pulling the balls out? I'm just trying to think. Like, isn't it more effort to keep them in? It depends on the tightness of the of the underwear, to be honest. Mm, that seems and correct. the tightness of the balls. Because yeah. you don't want to you don't want to get a drip 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 from having to take your tight money. Out. About yeah. Drip drip oh, drip is rip 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 for your underwear. Drip, Pretty drip, much, drop, yeah. Little April showers. It's like you pull the nuts out if it's real tight. Yeah, you pull the nuts out if it's real tight. Yeah, you pull the nuts yeah, you out. You pull if the it's nuts real out. Tight. If it's real tight. And then you put yeah. your balls in her butt. Yeah. You pull the nuts out of it's real tight. Speaking of video game dreams, I want to say something in like 100% seriousness. Okay. Okay. Playing Elite Dangerous Horizon with yeah. the Hodas. Uh, 
What was that giant fart? We're talking about the Hodus again. I want to say, I, I want to say, it's like, it's everything that I wanted it to be. It's so oh, cool, man. Bear, you're such a Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got him. Wait, what's the most how, how in the fuck y'all can't be excited <laughs> about VR space combat? Like, what's wrong with you? I'm excited. I don't Bear, hear more. I'm jealous because I don't have a vibe, all right? No. Yeah, I mean, I'm jealous because I do have a vibe and it doesn't fucking work. I'm yeah, jealous I, because I you use virtual that. reality to distract you from the coming uh, Luddite versus Futurist war that's going to leave uh, <laughs> hundreds and thousands of people out of work and uh, possibly even dead as well. You're like very clearly in the Luddite camp, though. Excuse uh, me? I was hoping you. <laughs> what is a Luddite? Oh, someone you say that again. That's pretty good. People yeah. that issue technology. Yeah, the Amish. Yeah, people I've with seen them shoe before. technology. Shoe I think technology. that like Jordan. I think that my training is going to pay off in 25 years. And yeah, definitely NASA is going to be like, we need someone who played a lot of video games <laughs> to be our next astronaut. Hey, you know that happened in the military, didn't it? Like with the uh, no, that happened, happened in the... Armageddon. Yeah, that happened in the film <laughs> Armageddon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the military, right? I mean, Specifically, like... Dark Souls players lately. <laughs> I think you're thinking of an anime. Oh yeah, you let know me know when someone needs to explore a space dungeon. All right. I'll be <laughs> You guys want to tease your hair at PAX? What? No, I'm already. I'm gonna be a little busy watching all the fucking the Fast and the Furious that movies. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just all the Fast and Furious ones. Where is For Honor? Well, Robert, would you like to explain why I have no For Honor on my channel today? Us. Uh, accidentally put out a video a day early. <laughs> exactly.